everyone else should be seated. If you're a competitor, please be seated. We're not, yeah. Mm -hmm. Stand by. <clears throat> oh, India. Uh -huh. Sweden. All right, one minute. And spectators, be cautious of those white cookies on the wall. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the live stream of the USA Jigsaw Puzzle Association 2024 National Championships here in San Diego. And we are just minutes away from kicking off the pairs final with... $2,000 on the line and prize money going to the pair yep. of puzzlers who complete yep. their 1,000 piece puzzle the fastest. Yep. So, and yeah, go ahead. I'm Valerie Coit. I'm the USAJPA co founder and board member and organizer of this event. And so glad you're joining us for this final day of competition. And yes, you mentioned the $2,000. That's unusual. Most puzzle contests you win, you maybe go home with a puzzle or two. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Kind of the whole point is just to go and have fun and compete with your friends and get a puzzle. So this is unique that there's some actual prize money happening. So we're super excited to see how everything is going to shake out today. And I'm Jeff Whittle, and I'm going to be helping Valerie mm -hmm. uh, announce this pairs final, which will be followed by really the premier event of the weekend, mm -hmm. the individual final, but that'll be coming up this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Some uh, great teams to talk about, uh, pairs mm -hmm. of two, and it's we will certainly talk it's, about yeah. those. Uh, yeah, yep. exactly. Now, it is a thousand-piece puzzle. The pre the mm -hmm. prelims, the qualifiers, mm -hmm. were 500-piece puzzle, yep. so this will take a little longer, yep. but they were lightning fast in those preliminaries, yes, so uh, exactly. this will be quick and and, and what's fun. exciting about this is we had two different divisions. So you had two strong sets of competitors, and now they're combined here in one division. And I'm looking at my list, and I feel like we have about 40 pairs to keep an eye on. Wow. Because there's just such a strong pool of competitors. So we're very excited. We're going to cut to Allie right now for a few announcements and get to get us going. All right, everyone. Are you ready to puzzle? Welcome to the USA Jigsaw Nationals 2024 Pairs Finals. We're going to do a quick recap of what's about to happen, and then we'll do a short breather, give you a, breathe, a minute to breathe, and then we're going to do the countdown. So today we have 100 pairs competing in the finals. Uh, you're going to have two and a half hours to finish a 1,000 piece puzzle. Uh, so the first rule reminder, I think you all will understand how important it is, is about your trays because there's not a lot of space, we know. We know it's not awesome, but we wanted more people to puzzle than less. So we've got you sharing so you can have two trays to help you manage your pieces on your tables. Uh, you all should have a bag on your table. Obviously, don't open it until we say go. Once we do, you can tear into it. We've got the last pair spot filled. Uh, there were a couple of last minute drops, so great job, Faith. Um, so when we do say go, you'll rip into your bag. If your puzzle is, uh, is if the seals are not broken on your puzzle, raise your hand immediately. We will come over, get the seals open for you, and then we will start the timer. We will deduct that time that it took. Uh, as you're getting close to finish, uh, we should have volunteers keeping an eye on you, but if you don't see someone nearby, raise your hand. When you are finished, take your hands off the table. Let us know that you're done puzzling. We'll record your time. You can check it online. You can check it across the hall. For spectators, for spectators, 
It's going to be a full house for this competition and the next. So please remember you can go across the hall to watch the up close of the live stream. Try not to congest this area over here while, while there are sales going on, things like that. Uh, speaking of that, one of uh, the reminders is be a kind puzzle neighbor. You're sharing a table, so be, be mindful of how much talking you do and singing and things like that. Keep it to a minimum. If I can get everyone's attention. Thank you. If you are missing a piece, there's a 10 second penalty. Uh, if we, you can't find your piece in 10 seconds, we will stop the timer then. If you can find it sooner, we'll stop the timer sooner. There's a, maybe a, <clears throat> a yellow piece of paper under your missing piece, so look for that. Look for the shandling shim. I've heard it's been coined. Uh, if we hit the time limit and you still haven't completed your puzzle, we will have volunteers come by and help you count clusters, uh, pieces uh, and clusters of two or less towards your, your final leftover count. And uh, beyond that, when you are finished, please make sure to maintain quiet for your, your neighbors. We will please, uh, the top six finishers hang out until we announce the top six finishers, and then we ask that people try to leave the space um, right after they're done to be con uh, mindful of their neighbors. So, And final reminder, we know it's going to be a full house, so be careful of those uh, light switches on the wall so that we keep the lights on. Uh, other than that, we're going to take a really short break. We're going to get started right at 9 o'clock. It's going to happen quick, so just make sure to be ready for it. Uh, we'll do the countdown then. So get excited, everyone. This could be the best thing that I'll ever know Hello, everyone, and we are back live at the 2024 USA Jigsaw Nationals. I'm Jeff Whittle. Mm -hmm. My partner is Valerie Colt. Uh, <laughs> Valerie Coit. <laughs> you uh, don't know my name? It's, oh, my yeah, gosh. <laughs> After <laughs> Sorry. 20 hours. Uh, and thank you for watching us on YouTube and Twitch. In fact, we're offering our live stream viewers a chance to win a prize. Viewers at home can go to usajigsaw.org and click on the live stream prize banner on the home page. Fill out the entry form. Type the keyword nationals for a chance to win some amazing prizes. This time the keyword is nationals. Mm -hmm. We'll announce the winners of the live stream raffle mm -hmm. during this afternoon's closing ceremony, which mm -hmm. will also live stream mm -hmm. between 3.30 and 4.30 yep. p.m. Pacific time. One mm -hmm. entry per keyword. But there are 16 keywords throughout the weekend. Lots yeah. of chances to win, so keep tuning in. Yeah, you got to check out. I know, you know, oh, Closing ceremonies don't sound terribly exciting, I'm sure, but it will be a lovely chance to recognize and just acknowledge the incredible talent that we have in this room this weekend. Everybody here, it's just been such a fabulous time. I'm sad to see it coming to a close today, but we really hope you'll tune in in order to see them get their prizes and you know walk across the stage it's a it's a wonderful moment for folks who have worked really hard to get here when we talk to some of these competitors and in interviews and hopefully you've seen those on the live stream you know how much work that go, can go into this these people have been preparing for months you know mari and emma were talking about 
practicing and doing thousands of pieces in a day and then getting together multiple days a week. So it's no small feat. You know, there's a lot of work that goes into this and we're really excited to acknowledge that today, recognize their talent and reward folks with prizes and, and awards at the end. So we hope you'll join us in, in congratulating them later today. Not only did they do 7,000 to 8,000 pieces a day, they mm-hmm. said four to five days a week. Right? They flew across country yes, to get to here. here. And we know that's a big expense. They exactly. came from the Boston area, yep. Cambridge specifically. Exactly. Fortunately, they only live five blocks apart, they said. Mm-hmm. So it was so much easier to get together yep. that often. But other folks had to do it on Zoom, and right. they may have never puzzled together yeah. in person until they got here. So that's okay. exciting. Yep. Okay. All right, we're so ready we'll go back to get to the going. Stage, yeah. Let's go back we'll to Allie. We'll talk to Allie where yeah. she's going to kick off the pairs competition. Mm-hmm. All right, everyone, are you ready to puzzle? All right, get ready. We are going to do the countdown in five, four, three, two, one, puzzle! Thousand piece puzzle that the pairs have probably been dreading a little bit. We have two pairs at each table sharing a small space to do a thousand piece Demelza Houghton picture illustration absolutely gorgeous i'm so excited jeff i'll give you a peek at <laughs> i haven't it. seen it yet here it's, it is it's absolutely gorgeous full of color full of whimsical just adorable images <laughs> yeah we're gonna put it up there on the full screen for everybody to see this is an unpublished puzzle never seen before today this is everybody's first look at this new demelsa houghton image from robinsberger thousand piece I, I just love this image, Jeff. I, the minute I saw this, I was like, oh, I, I'm going to do this. This is like, for me, the first one I'm going to grab. Off the, I mean, <laughs> no offense. The other artists are all fantastic as well. But I really love her fantastical nature of her puzzles. And I'm excited to see how people do with this today. And I know that's certainly your favorite type of puzzle to do. Yes, this I one is called Sweet Street. Mm -hmm. Sweet Street. And I guess with Easter being a week from today, you know, candy's kind of one of the Easter things. Uh, But yes, look at all those. It's such a cute image. Just full of adorable little details. Kind of an Easter egg. There's an Easter egg, a a literal Easter egg. You know, you get little Easter egg surprises, (laughs) but there's a literal Easter egg in this one. But yeah, it's... It's just so cute, and I'm just so excited for people. And I know this is going to be one that if that when that hits the shelves, it's going to be popular. Um, and so we are going to have Demelsa joining us here in just a few minutes. So people will have a chance in the chat if you if you have questions or you want to ask her anything. But she participated in a panel here at the event earlier. She's very, I, I got the sense she's very sort of humbled and just like, I, you know, I'm not that big of a deal. <laughs> but to the puzzlers, she's a big deal. Like, I think ever since they introduced her art and, and having puzzles out there from her, there's been a lot of folks who've who just gone all in on on her style and just the beautiful kind of calm i we we talked a little bit about how it's it's been a bit of a stretch for her in terms of color palette because she likes to work in like more monochromatic kind of you know uh shades Mm -hmm. and and she said you know robinsberger with puzzles they like them to be more vibrant and i said i would describe your color palette as soft it's just this luxurious soft lovely colors and so yeah we'll get her over here soon to talk right now you're seeing everybody just furiously flip pieces they're using their trays they're going to have to engage in what we call a piece management quite a bit because <laughs> they have a pretty small space to work with so initially here it is going to be looking at what are the different pairs doing to kind of set themselves up for success in completing this puzzle in a small space and for folks watching the live stream at home mm-hmm. that are interested in these puzzles, now limited in number, are here for sale mm-hmm. in the convention center. 
in this room. They put them up on the shelf as soon as we unveil yes. them here on camera. They There will be a limited number available on the mm-hmm. Ravensburger website alone starting tomorrow. And they yes. stress there would be a limited mm-hmm. number available yeah. because they just made these and they didn't want right. too many to get they out anywhere. They don't have a huge run, right? So they'll, they'll be probably, you know reprinting later on if they need to but yeah if you want these you're going to want to hit that website pretty early on monday they have literally been selling out of every one of these puzzles yes. um, by the end of the day of competition they don't have any left i mean they've tried to be conservative they didn't want to come here and then have to ship you know thousands of puzzles back <laughs> but i think we underestimated just how much demand there was going to be for these puzzles here you know you would think well you know, you've done it already, or maybe you've been a part of a team or a pair that's maybe done it, but you know, only one person from the team gets to take the puzzle right. home. Right. <laughs> so, for so a lot of them want to go buy it, right? Yes, exactly. And then, exactly. of course, there's spectators and family yes, members and yep. things here as well mm-hmm. that also maybe want a copy of it. Exactly. Yeah. Some of the favorites in this Paris final uh, have to include the Reuters sisters, Kathy mm-hmm. and Jean, who won yesterday's first of two preliminary heats to advance yep. to the finals. There was two 100-pair preliminaries. The top mm-hmm. 50 from each uh, mm-hmm. advanced to today to make it 100. Um, of course, they're also the defending pairs national yes, champions. Yeah. They blew yes. away the competition right. in 2022 to win exactly. the pairs Exactly. That's what's so interesting about this is they just handily won this in 2022. They won by six and a half minutes. Nobody really came even close. I think it was a, a shock when they <laughs> finished. We were all like, wait, somebody's done already? Um, and now here we are this weekend, and we've had a team come with, you know, a pair come within four seconds of them. And then technically, you know, Kelly and Andrew, while it was a different puzzle, they were in a different heat, they finished in under 23 minutes, which is just outstanding. So, um, yeah, it's going to be really a close matchup here between the Reuters and Kelly and Andrea, I think. But but there's all these other contenders out there as well. Yeah, so and, it's Ke- just yeah. Kelly Walter and Andrea Pang who mm-hmm, won that yep. second preliminary. They were followed in that second heat. The uh, second place team was Yvonne Foyt and E.B. Karen. Yes, so, and they're right up in the front here as well. Of course. Wearing their unicorn head. Well, well, actually, Yvonne uh, took hers off. She's, okay. she's avoiding the locked horn situation. They had locked horns yes. yesterday so, in the prelim. Yep, so Evie's got hers on, though, and so they're representing. Um, but, yeah, it's just right. You look in the front here, this whole front row, and Karen off here to the side. We've seen her a little bit, and Karen they're at puzzles. a table. Karen and Tiffany Medeiros is at a table with Doug and Suzanne, and they're also formidable. We just... I honestly, I just, I'm so excited to see how this turns out, Jeff. Mari Black and Emma Pan, who you mentioned a little bit ago, they finished third in that second preliminary. Now behind the Reuters sisters in that first prelim, uh, Lauren Kautz, who's ranked number one in the United States in the individual rankings, uh, her and her team of Sarah Schuler came in second behind the Reuters sisters, followed by Dawn Rasmussen and Andrea Kyle couple of Minnesota ladies finished third there. So those are six strong contenders, but there are certainly several other teams that keep an eye on. Gray Rogers and Catherine Dilks, Lindsay Steenstra and Min Dang, Simi Berman, Alyssa Zackler. We have Becca Taylor and Kelly Burr. They're both ranked in the top 15. Hannah Scott, Jessa Douglas, power team there. Um, And so those are quite a few that we have uh, that we're just keeping an eye on and that are, you know, very highly ranked individuals and also um, finished high in the pairs preliminaries. So. No, not ready yet. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's, uh, we're seeing a wide shot of the, uh, of the uh, floor here of this convention mm-hmm. room. It's quieted down. It was very noisy. It seems like it was. just before we kick off mm-hmm. each contest from Friday through today has gotten louder and louder. Yep, yep. Of course, there's $2,000 on Great. the line for this mm-hmm. one. So okay. so we're joined by the artist of the hour, Hi. Demelsa Houghton. Thanks for coming and, and joining our table. Thank you for having me. Yeah, and I have got to say the comments when this was pulled out was, OMG, that <laughs> is gorgeous. Oh, thank you. So yeah. It was so much fun to paint. Tell us about the inspiration for this. I think, because oh, I was working with Rachel on a uh, concept for it, and I'd come up with some previous concept for another project, 
and then she thought that might be quite a nice one to develop mm -hmm. so yeah it just started from there and it got bigger and bigger it was actually initially intended to be a 500 piece but then okay. I kind of went too far with the details. So. <laughs> Great. So it's your fault that it's a thousand pieces. Yes. Of <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> I just did explain away from that me. in an earlier thing that we were thinking it was going to be a 500 piece for the pair final. And then it was suddenly told, you know, we just we talked to Rachel and had a meeting and she goes, oh, by the way, I think we're going to do a thousand. And we were like, wait, what? <laughs> My fault. <laughs> we were like, oh no, because, you know, we knew they were going to be sharing tables and we wanted as many people. I mean, we could have we could have narrowed it down we could have said okay we'll have 50 pairs instead of 100 uh -huh. but when you see this image you're just like well we want as many people to get their hands on this as possible and oh. if we'd have had 50 and there was 50 more standing around the perimeter watching they'd have been like why are you doing this to us <laughs> <laughs> so we um. decided you know what trays they can do it they'll make it work and let's let them do the puzzle so tell us i mean i loved yesterday hearing from dean and kind of little easter eggs are there any little surprises in here would it help for you to yeah um any I... little fun easter eggs you built in maybe or... the hedgehogs I yeah. did a one called The Secret Garden a couple of mm -hmm. years ago. I don't know if you've seen it, but there's a couple of hedgehogs on their first date. Mm -hmm. And now on this one, they're getting married. Oh, nice. Not... <laughs> so that's on the top right corner for folks at home. And now the mm -hmm. puzzle is up on the screen again. Yeah, yeah. great. Yeah. Viewers. And then we've got, I, I, as much as I kind of like to put a raccoon in there because I'm fascinated by them. We don't have them in the UK, so I've never seen one. Oh, but really? I just think they're such fantastic little creatures. And they're so human, the way they stand up and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. wash their food with their hands. Yes. And, um, and I also like to add, they've got a little friendship with the fox. They were they appeared together first in Novel Avenue, which was one of my first puzzles. Oh, nice. Um, yeah. What else have we got there? I don't think there's anything else that is a continuation from other puzzles. Mm -hmm. but So the stream running through it looks like it's emanating from the egg yeah it's just kind of a juice factory you know? <laughs> a juice? <laughs> so do you have a sweet tooth in real life um more savory but okay. yes i do as i get older i seem to like sugar a little bit more and you get cravings don't you and yeah but yes i did feel quite hungry while painting this so <laughs> Oh, We've yeah. got, I don't know whether you get um, mini eggs in the US. Yes, we do, yes. and they're my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> well, those that's Cadbury the, mini eggs. the roof of mini eggs. So. Oh. The Cadbury, which comes from yes, your the yeah, yeah. Hey. yeah, yeah. I'm actually hoping I get to go there this summer. I'm planning to do some narrow boating. We'll oh, talk wow. later. And uh, <laughs> nice. and one of my stops along the narrow boat trip I'm planning is to go to Cadbury World, which oh, I'm super I don't even know about. where that is. Where is it? Oh, really? I can't remember which town it's in. Is it in London, I imagine. Mm, or, or the area I'm going to be in is kind of up uh, by Stoke Prior, and there, mm -hmm. that's where I will emanate from with the boat and that's do Stoke. a loop. That, yes, canal further, further down than I am. Anyway, <laughs> I mean, we'll talk. I'm we'll talk. Auction, so. I love. I love that. Anyway, but yeah, so, this is gorgeous. So, what is the uh, orangish? Uh, this is an orangery. An orangery. Oh. Yeah, so it's, but it's a jelly one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jelly orange tree. So it's an orange flavor mm -hmm. jelly. Oh, okay, gotcha. So, I, so what do you yeah. think? Uh, oh, I was no, going to say, what do, you, what do you think um, the puzzlers are going to start putting together first? What pieces oh, well, you I, start? Well, we did this yesterday. Oh, you did? Which, what? Yeah, it was you really got fun, to actually. do it ahead of time? We did. Sorry. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what a coup. Well, I personally always start with the corners. Sorry, the edges. Right. Um, but it's quite funny, though, because we all, the people who were doing it all had different methods. So it was a little chaotic to start with. It was great. So I did the edge pieces and uh -huh. one of them was sorting all the colours. But I don't know. Maybe that. That's quite distinctive. Yeah, the cake on the right. Yeah. I do think you're right. I think the cake will be a good shot or a good and, place and to see start. The and the river, because it really stands mm -hmm. out. Yep. The, the river, I would say the egg probably the yeah. orange tree some of yeah. the bigger pieces the otherwise it is a quite busy puzzle i imagine yeah. there's lots of little surprises in there as yeah. they're going this is one of my favorite bits the um gingerbread man mm -hmm. kind of, or boy i think more like it. <laughs> Being frowned upon by the the uh, grandpa <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> you wouldn't. And what's in the uh, little boat on here? Is that a little penguin or? Uh, yeah, a couple of penguins having an ice cream in a, in their banana boat. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, is this just what lives in your brain, Demelsa? How does I think this it happen? Must. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's, this is normal to me now. So yeah, yeah. I know you. We talked to you at the panel, and you said that you had done some children's books, yes, correct? Yeah. And that is that how you kind of got your start as an illustrator? Yeah, I mean, well, I started off just kind of doing cards and prints just myself, which mm -hmm. I still do. Um, mm -hmm. 
and then got approached. The first book I did was with a lovely Australian publisher, um, did a couple of books for her, which is how I actually got to do the puzzles, was that someone mm-hmm. from Ravensburger had seen one of the books mm-hmm. and got in touch with me, so that's where it all started. But yeah, I've done a few of the books. Mm-hmm. Um, I've just finished a book for a big publisher. I'm not allowed to say what it is at this point. Okay. But it's a really exciting one. You could leak it. We won't tell anybody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, I, I love the comments because immediately somebody like Cabri World is in Birmingham. So oh, there right. you go, Thank everybody. You. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody, on the chat. The, the, north, the north of England there? Yeah, yeah. So how many puzzles have you done for Robbins? I think it's 11 now. Oh, Oh, wow. Okay, wait. I thought I had done them all, and I'm like, I don't think I've done 11. I've got to do some hunting. It's including this one, so 11 including this one. And then there's the two children's ones, which you may not have probably didn't do those. Sorry. (laughs) That's okay. (laughs) So how long have you been working with Robbins Burger? When did you do your first one? I think it was either, it was just before COVID that, well, they came out in COVID, so it must have been around 2019, Mm -hmm. I think. Mm-hmm. Um, that they got in touch, but yeah, so, like eleven puzzles in five years. Yeah, so it's you, amazing. You guys have been working, yeah, pretty yeah, hard. Yeah. To, you've been working pretty hard, and <laughs> I know with them too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're such a great team to work with. They really are. Yeah. So, did they tell you to put more sweets and more things into your original, or you said I don't it just know? Kind of went it, out it, out it just kind of evolves. Mine's a really. I've got a really sketchy way of starting off. That's so rough mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. anybody. Mm-hmm. If, Rachel knows what I'm like, so <laughs> I send her these really rough sketches and she'll say, yeah, go with that. And then they kind of end up looking quite different from how it started. Oh, <laughs> but, really? But yeah, I do send it frequently through to just to make sure she's mm-hmm. okay with everything. Because when you, you have your face in something for so long, it's good to have mm-hmm. fresh eyes sure. that you don't see. Mm-hmm. So you use the digital painting then as well? Yeah, course, painting Photoshop, yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. On a big Cintiq, mm-hmm. which is like a massive tablet. Mm-hmm. And it's on a really hefty arm and you can have it you can have it standing if you like I kind of rarely do because you know I'm a little bit lazy and I've got a very nice chair (laughs) but if you want to you can stand up and paint so so speaking of like you you know obviously this crew not not the lazy type you know some of these folks are literally standing for two hours to do a puzzle which I I don't know how their backs are doing I know right but what have you thought so far being here at the company is this your first puzzle competition yeah yeah really it's absolutely fantastic and the devotion of them all I think is absolutely (laughs) they're all so lovely and Uh, what's it like to have 200 people putting your puzzle together at the same time yeah that's really cool yeah (laughs) Yeah. do you have any predictions for how long this is going to take how how long did it take you yesterday with the Robbins how long did it take us Joel (laughs) <laughs> there were like three of us at various points and probably mm-hmm. I don't know four hours <laughs> did you guys sleep or were you <laughs> just I don't know how they do it so quickly I don't know what the techniques are yeah so this could be what 45 minutes no minutes? no I think we're looking at longer I think um I mean the thousand piece on that small area is gonna make the okay, times so a little longer ex- right slow them down. yes so if you're competing at home after the fact and you get this puzzle and you're like i'm gonna see how me and my pair's partner do you know stacked up against all the folks in this room you got to get out a table and measure out a 36 yeah, by three foot so area small. and keep yourself confined to that space to have an actual good comparison because yeah. it'll slow people down right. a little bit okay. they're not going to have the room to like spread the pieces all out and really be able to find pieces very easily yeah. and you know <clears> we've <throat> made it that much harder because if you'd have given them a small space and then a puzzle that was easy to sort for example you could just kind of go here's a blue pile and then leave them all piled up but Instead, they have a really nice, busy pile with a lot of different things yeah. going on. So I expect that'll affect their time some. But usually if a pair is doing a thousand piece, I'd say anything around like an hour 20, you know, hour and a half. That's like that's those are good times. Um, if my pair's partner and I get under an hour and a half, we're like, yes, you know, like that's yeah. the goal. Um, it is so, a space, isn't it? It's so right. And this is a tight yeah. space. So I think we're going to be looking at more like an hour and a half, maybe hour yeah. 20 okay. to, okay. to complete this. But, you know, what's great is we'll probably be surprised because we're going to have pairs here who have been practicing on a small space with their trays. And there could be people, you know, just within earshot of me who are listening and like that we've got this <laughs> we did this in an hour 15 just you know you just just you wait so we'll see so this table closest to us the the two ladies in, in with the jeans on mm-hmm. right here 
So Kelly Walter, Kelly Walter on Andrea the right, Peng. Andrea Peng. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, they won. There was two preliminary rounds yesterday to weed yeah. out, mm-hmm. to, to narrow the field, <laughs> yeah, yeah. basically, uh, the people that are only moderately fast. Okay. They had to go home. They won one of the preliminaries, and the two twin sisters in the purple tops mm-hmm. are, uh, next to them, they won the first preliminary. Wow. So the top two, they're literally next to each other. Now, they put their puzzle boxes kind of between them, yep. and we yep. talked about that last Yep. Uh, yesterday, kind of so they don't distract each other, but mm-hmm. also so the pieces don't, you know, yeah. get mm-hmm. merged because we saw a little mm-hmm. bit of that where, oh, they're missing the last couple. Oh, they're oh, kind no. of at the edge. Okay. Not totally mingled in, but they just got scooted over towards the other people's right. mm-hmm. pile. So anyway. Yeah, they want to keep a clear division if possible so you don't have any, like, migrate to the table next to you. Yep. Mm-hmm. So anyway, they are mm-hmm. they the they're the fast. Witness. They're the very okay. fastest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we have you know, the, these folks right here. Yeah. Um, so you can't see her. She's yep. kind of behind this gentleman right here in the blue, but on the far, the, the, so that's uh, Dawn Rasmussen. Uh, tip, no. Tiffany Van Der Rosen and, and Karen Tiffany Puzzles are the right there. Yep, they're Puzzles, right near the, the live stream area. Mm-hmm. Is right across the, yeah. uh, behind her. Yeah, Jim. Karen, mm-hmm. oh, I'm, I'm mm-hmm. off I'm, as I'm looking over mm-hmm. there. So uh, Karen has about 300,000 YouTube followers, and she's wow. a mm-hmm. big puzzle influencer and also very fast herself. Yeah. So she's right here. A lot of folks on the live stream want to know how, you know, Karen's doing mm-hmm. and things. But everybody, mm-hmm. so there's the sorting trick. We had mm-hmm. a well, little yep. look, and you can see they have round sorting tricks. Yeah, and there. everybody's got a different strategy for the trays, too. Like, you can see they have a lip on their tray, so that's like keeping them more contained. Other people like to have it with a flat edge so they could maybe just slide a chunk off if they need to. So everybody has a different way of doing it and how yeah. they like to use the trays. Karen yesterday talked about how they tried different sizes to see what was comfortable to work with. If you had too big a trays, that was kind of a problem because you could it gets in the way of like doing the puzzle and you don't really want to set them on the floor or uh, risk you know, getting them knocked over. Sorry. So right now mm-hmm. in the picture, Yeah, Karen you can see Karen there. An and you can see them doing kind of what we talked about. I think it looks like Tiffany's working on the cake a little bit off to the right. And then Karen's maybe tackled, you know, the Easter egg up in the corner. And But, yeah, as you can see, you know, the puzzle pieces are so tightly together and kind of stacked that if you're looking for a piece, it's going to be a little harder to find it maybe. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have a saying when I speed puzzle, uh, don't look for the piece, look for the space. I tend to, like, pick up pieces and then find where they go okay. versus, like, oh, where's this one yellow piece and then looking through the pile and staring forever. That makes um, a Because sense. eventually it'll <clears throat> come, you know, right? And you're going to, eventually you're going to grab it and go, oh, that's it, and then put it in. So yeah. to me, it doesn't make a lot of sense to search for pieces, but, you I know. I totally everybody- do the searching. <laughs> <laughs> you're a searcher. <laughs> well, usually I just, I kind of get the edge pieces out and then have all the, the remaining pieces in the box. Mm-hmm. I just swish them around. And oh, time. very leisurely, yes, probably yes. very stressful right. for these. People. I call that like sifting. Yes, You're a I sifter. Yeah. You just kind of yeah. Watching but TV. That's a much yeah. more sensory experience. That's lovely. But yeah, yeah, if you're speed puzzling, you're not keeping yeah. them in the box too much. Although. A few years ago, and those of you who paid attention in the speed puzzling world, Kristen, too, from Norway, came to Worlds. She'd never done a competition before. She said she'd never really watched speed puzzling. She knew she was fast, but hadn't really paid attention to it much until she got to Worlds. She did not dump out the puzzle. She would very slowly go through the puzzle, like, a handful at a time and sort and just sort it into like these very neat little piles and we're like 18 minutes into the individual and everybody's like she hasn't even started puzzling she's sorting and then she just like blew everybody away and like (laughs) won her division and it was like what is happening this <laughs> woman didn't dump out the pieces how is this possible and she, yeah it was amazing now mm-hmm. she's switched it up she dumps them out now and she's oh, okay. increased her speed but yeah she kind of blew us all away you you can have your own way of doing it that works for you there's mm-hmm. no one recipe yeah so the camera was there on sarah Schuler and mm-hmm. her teammate Lauren Cowles. Yes, which we can't discount them either. We haven't really talked about Sarah and Lauren very much, but they are definitely in the running because they were only behind the Reuter sisters by four seconds in the pair prelim and that's the closest I've ever seen anybody come to the Reuter sisters. So In the, par- in the pairs. In the pairs, yeah. yes. So that was super exciting and I think uh, it's just 
I just can't wait to see how this all turns out. And in the mm-hmm. in, in the first individual preliminary on Friday, mm-hmm. um, Kathy Reuter won the individual, but Sarah Schuler was only three seconds behind her. Yes. Now, that was in the individuals, and of course the individual final will be this afternoon. So mm-hmm. those ladies have all proven to be extremely, extremely fast. Yeah. But each puzzle, you know, you can't just go with the rankings because each puzzle may play to their strengths or okay. may mm-hmm. expose weaknesses where they're like, oh, this is too busy. There's not enough sky. I like more sky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. People usually complain about too much sky. <laughs> <laughs> there are some sky people in here that yeah, are like, we hear that. They're like, what are oh, you doing to sky. me? Yeah, yeah they're, they're I want just gradient like, sky, you know. Right. They, they oh, like that. So Dawn and Andrea depends. there with their okay. progress. Yes. See, and they, you know, one thing I'm noticing, and this is another pointer for people at home, like you see a lot of this where people get most of the edge together, but not all of it. And mm-hmm. that's because, again, you shouldn't be searching for those last edge pieces. Just don't worry about it. Later on, you'll find it, it'll just be in front of you, and then you know yeah. where it goes. So you're not wasting time going, well, I got to get the edge done before I can go anywhere else or keep going yeah. with the rest of it. Don and Andrea are keeping their space very clean. And, and so is this group that we're seeing right there. I can't tell for sure who that is. I'm trying to trying to see what number we're looking at there. But um, and that's another strategy is like spaces. how, yeah, do you keep the white space kind of in the middle open and clean? Or do you work inside of it because it's right in front of you? So everybody has a different way of doing it yeah so have you picked up any pointers now for puzzling at home no yeah no? Okay. Are, also, are you going to be entering I, next year i won't even <laughs> try to compete no. <laughs> actually it was quite funny yesterday when i was um there were probably a few hundred pieces left on this one mm-hmm. and i was trying to race doing it so i could yeah, get back really. downstairs so that was quite satisfying but nice. yeah I've never done one that fast before <laughs> <laughs> well and I know you're doing an artist signing today right so are yes. you going to be around for the final and to see like yeah. how it all ends yeah, out definitely. okay great and definitely. this was your first time in the U.S. right yes. yeah it's oh, been fascinating yeah I loved it. and you've spent the entire time in a hotel ballroom <laughs> Not quite the whole time, <laughs> okay, but yes. But, yeah, yeah, did you get to go out and about? We went for, for a lovely meal um, a couple of nights ago. We went to see, you know, the hotel, I can't remember what it was called, that's featured in Some Like It Hot. Yes, Hotel Del Coronado. Yes. Yep. Oh, oh. oh, and so you got to go out on Coronado, you got to go over the Bay Bridge, over the San Diego yes. Bay Bridge, yeah, and yeah. you got to see the ocean, so you were on the beach there. Yes, it was night when we were on the, on the oh, beach, but okay. yes, it was night. Okay. Oh, and, nice. and the Hotel Del Coronado was the... Yeah, orange the, red the orange building one that was in, in last year's puzzle. Last year's yeah. final was there a picture is. of the San Diego skyline. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's, yeah. that's that's yeah. where yeah. you that were. That was the yeah. puzzle yeah. last yeah. year. Yeah, it was absolutely beautiful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so not too much sightseeing, but yeah, okay. this is just fantastic. Yeah. So. Well, Excellent. I mean, I yeah, I hope you've had a good trip. Are you doing any more traveling after this, or do you just go no, right back? No, fly back tomorrow. Oh, you do? Okay. Have some recovery time, and then, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, get back to work. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like I said, we were so thrilled when we talked to Rachel and, and Robin and Lacey from Robinsburger. Shout out to them. They've been so amazing to work with and helping mm. us organize this event. I mean, honestly, we'll have meetings and they come up with more ideas and we're just like, yeah, let's make that work. And <laughs> so it's been a real collaborative venture. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, they were like, would you guys be interested in maybe a Demelsa puzzle for? And we were like, are you kidding me? What? Seriously, this is an option. Like we can get one, and then yeah, they would show us sketches, and we would just like drool and be like, "Oh my gosh, I can't wait! It's so oh, exciting!" Good. So yeah, we're yeah, just I was so thrilled. thrilled when they asked me. I was really, like, oh, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm always like, do people want speed puzzlers to like do their puzzles? Yeah, because they kind of they kind of <laughs> rush through it. Yesterday, <laughs> Dean was sitting here and teams were finishing and they're just like folding it up and throwing it up you know in the bag stroke it first haven't you yeah (laughs) yeah in fact the first finisher in Mm -hmm. the team and they you know the last piece went in and they just folded it in half and shoved it in the box he goes they didn't even look at it (laughs) well maybe they'll get back to it uh, when they they get home they will i'm guessing people are going to be doing this more than once but yeah Yeah. i mean it's a gorgeous puzzle and just thank you so much for joining us uh, my pleasure thank you so much for having me yeah Yeah, it's wonderful and yeah yeah, safe travels. Thank you. Thank so you. Much. Right, bye. bye. So. Peeking around the room here, looking over the shoulder of the pairs. 
seeing how fo- what kind of progress folks are making now. They're looking over uh, Karen Puzzle's shoulders and seeing the hands there of Tiffany Medeiros. Yeah, there's Karen. Yeah, and you know, wow, that what are you feeling like sky. for progress? So that looks yeah, side, Karen's sideways. doing her sky bit. They're she's sideways. Getting, yep. yep, she's doing the sky. She's doing the sky as much as she right. can. Yeah, the and there's a, that's kind of interesting actually because look at that. I think they're building it. So the bottom edge is at the bottom of the table. They're not kind of going sideways with it. Yeah. And so it does looks that like it's it, oriented I was going to say it's them. oriented differently this in that way. I think their so, edge actually runs off the edge of the tag board. Oh A lot of people in the live stream chat and people have asked, you know, why why the table claws, why the like paper tag board underneath the reason we do that is because these tables are all like rented tables and they have very different qualities of like what the surface is like. Some of them are wood grains, some of them are white, some of them might be, you know, a dark wood. So this levels the playing field by putting a tablecloth over it and then just putting a nice white blank canvas for them to work on. It, uh, it just keeps it fair for everybody so that it's not a matter of like, oh, well, my table was, was terrible <laughs> and the right, other right. one was great. This way, everybody has the same surface to work on. So this is Andrea Peng mm-hmm. and Kelly, Walter Kelly Walters yep. right there. And, of course, I the mean, Reuters sisters are right on the, on the next. Mm-hmm. Okay, they're panning up. We're getting the Reuters sisters in the shot. So that yeah. is a fearsome foursome right, there. Right, it is. <laughs> and, I mean, what's... a amazing about this community is like before this started you know and everybody's hanging out and getting their table and getting set up they were just over there laughing and having a good time (laughs) and chatting with each other so it's like even though all of these folks are competing against each other they're also friends Friends. and a lot of them just are so supportive of each other and root for each other encourage you know everybody wants to feel like the others are, are are feeling good about their performance and doing well so Those they're very EB, giving generous y- players yes they are eb karen with her unicorn headgear on mm-hmm. and yvonne foyt mm-hmm. the uh, defending individual mm-hmm. champion she has the red hair on the top there so they're of course another formidable pair looking around the room getting a feel for some of the other groups See how much progress everyone's making. We're 30 minutes in right now, and this is a two and a half hour competition. So we have two hours to go. There's a 1,000 piece puzzle that they're putting together. So Valerie estimates that it'll take them about an hour and a half. We're just now 31 minutes in. Mm-hmm. So we have hour and 59 minutes to go in this competition. Yeah, we we're all, yeah. I think. Okay, and we've got a very special guest joining us. I'm so excited because we wanted to have Adele Tippett on all weekend, but you've been too busy puzzling. So this yes. is Gma Twitch, or Gma Puzzles, right? And she is a hugely popular on Twitch with folks who like to puzzle and chat with Adele. And so we're so excited she could be on because you've been competing, and so then I can't have you on the stream. Right, so right. now today you're, you're getting to watch the final. I am so happy about this. My um, One of my favorite puzzlers, well, everybody knows Karen is my idol, right? <laughs> but Kyle Cole, who is also a Twitch streamer, and um, I, I'm always bragging about him, and I tell, tell everyone that if anybody goes live in the Jigsaw Puzzle community on Twitch, that if you don't shout out Kyle on your live stream, <laughs> that we'll kick you out of the community. So everybody knows that. <laughs> so you said Kyle Co. Is that Kyle Cosen? Yes. Yeah, Kyle, yes, Kosen, Kyle Kosen, Kosen. Kosen. But on stream, it's right. K-Y-L-K-O. Okay, so, right, yes. right. Yep. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, how did you get started doing jigsaw puzzles on Twitch? I just, I mean, I know you did a panel this weekend. I wish I could have gone to it because I just want to know more. And so, yeah, tell us about this journey that you've been on. I, um, they, uh, kids created an account for me. I was, um, I was just at home. I would puzzle every day, two and three puzzles a day. Mm-hmm. And, um, but so you're I was quick. Just, I, I was pretty, I, <laughs> yeah. before, before she puzzled, I was kind of quick. As a casual puzzler. Yeah, yeah. But um, so I would do two and three puzzles a day. 
and then I um, I became a mod on Twitch. The kids created an account because mm -hmm. I was just so lonely and depressed, right? Mm -hmm. They was like, we have to have something for mom to do. Mm -hmm. They created an account for me to uh, follow my son in his war zone competition. So it was mainly mm -hmm. a gaming platform. Mm -hmm. And um, so I went on, I started meeting some of the people in the chat and I ended up becoming a mod for um, a lot of different streamers, uh, including Anthony Davis of the Los Angeles Lakers, right? Oh, and wow. so a lot of people came to know mm -hmm. me that way. And mm -hmm. they was like, wait, your name is I Just Love Puzzles, so do you really love puzzles? <laughs> and I was like, look, when I'm not here, that is all I'm doing, right? Mm -hmm. And they was like, you should <laughs> scream it. I was like, nobody wants to see a grandmother <laughs> do jigsaw puzzles on a gaming platform, right? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it turns out I started in it. People like watching the grandmother do just <laughs> <laughs> on the gaming platform. So who knew? Right. And, uh, and I just get on there and I just learn so much about all of the people that I'm so close to them. And I think um, that's what the um, I think that's what draws a lot of people to mm -hmm. the stream, because originally there were no puzzlers in the stream at all. Right. Mm -hmm. And they just came to watch me and to listen to me talk. And, um, yeah, and then it just kind of, the mm -hmm. whole Gmod just grew out of that. Yeah. So, How, oh, oh, no, I, I was just, just going to say, so you're a grandma figure for lots of people out there, and hopefully and, they're watching on and Twitch and They YouTube. call me the, the Gmod of Twitch. Yeah. So, <laughs> nice. So how did AD find you then? Have you communicated with him, any, Anthony Davis? Um, they knew that I was a big sports fan. So mm -hmm. when I'm in all of the other communities and we're chatting, so whatever the streamer is doing, the chat, we're having our own private conversation outside of the game that they're playing, right? Mm -hmm. And usually I wouldn't even know what was going on in the game. So <laughs> I was just there for the company. And so they knew that I love sports. Anthony Davis was going to be starting a stream on Twitch. And they mm -hmm. was like, you know what? Adele Gima, she loves sports. You <laughs> should have her as your mod. Mm -hmm. And so he had them contact me and mm -hmm. ask me would I do it, and I agreed. Wow. Well, talk about your following on Twitch. Like, how many followers do you have? How many typically are, like, hanging out with you when you puzzle? I have over 20,000 followers now, and that is such a big deal because I never, <laughs> ever saw that coming. Mm -hmm. And... um you're more popular than we are, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you this. When I saw that you created an account, I told everybody, I was like, get over there right now and oh, follow that account. You, thank and so you. I do everything just to grow the puzzle community mm -hmm. as a whole, right? Mm -hmm. And I always convince them that if you grow the community as a whole, that it will help me. And mm -hmm. I know they want to help me. Yeah, so. yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, yeah, we are excited to be on there for the first time. And we, you d definitely helped because we created the channel I think maybe about a month ago and within a few weeks we had like 100 followers and I was like we haven't even posted anything yet so you've helped us out and we hope that that can grow and we can get more and more people interested in speed puzzling but I know speed puzzling isn't really what you do on your channel right so no yeah. I'm just uh, a casual puzzler I do puzzles from um, uh, up to 2,000 pieces and when I'm uh, puzzling, the whole thing about the stream is it's from the first piece to the last, no matter how long it takes, what? right? What? With and a 2,000 piece? With the 2,000 piece puzzles. And, um, Are you taking bathroom breaks? And, um, you know? I, never, I never leave the stream. Well, with this one stream, mm -hmm. it was 37 hours straight. Oh, my so gosh. So no taking a break, nothing, right? But I did get up. I went to the bathroom twice <laughs> doing a 37 oh, hour stream. What? Oh, my but gosh. I'm usually, That's amazing. When I, when I sit down, down to stream, um, I'm prepared to be there for 16 hours, right? Okay. Every single stream, wow. never any less than 12, because I just enjoy the company so much. Mm -hmm. And then there are people in so many different time zones that mm -hmm. come to see, even though some of them will get the notification and they'll wake up out of their sleep just to turn the stream on, right? <laughs> oh my but gosh. I tell them, look, just wait to your time zone. I'm going to be here for a while. Yeah, so I'll, yeah. I'll be here when you wake up. So <laughs> That's just amazing. So are you like 
you're puzzling, but then are you also looking at the chat? And then how are you communicating with folks while you puzzle? And are you telling stories? What do you talk about for those that many hours? So many stories, right? <laughs> and uh, uh, the people that have been there for these past three years, they've heard most of the stories. I mean, occasionally there's a new one, but they've heard most of the stories. But when they're typing in the chat, so I'm puzzling and, and the way that I can milk the puzzle and stay there so I mm-hmm. can have the company right um, is that I'm every single time somebody types something in the chat I respond to every single message wow. and then you have people that are following and so there's um, uh, the most followers in one stream was 793 followers right wow. and I recognize every single follower <laughs> and so when I'm hoarse at the end and then I look at the number of followers and I can always point to yes. that's why because I'm so excited mm-hmm. with everyone that follows with mm-hmm. everyone that comes to the stream so I want to acknowledge every single person mm-hmm. and uh, usually when you do that it's good for um to grow as a streamer, Mm -hmm. to acknowledge people. But when they come in and then you get to learn so many things about their lives Mm -hmm. and um, uh, people like that when they Mm -hmm. come in, it's like cheers, right? Where everybody knows your name. (laughs) So they kind of like it when they come in. Hey, she asked about my wife. I just got married four days ago, right? Mm -hmm. But I follow them on social Mm -hmm. media. And so I know a lot of things about the people, but yes, I'm always communicating with the chat. And then it's like puzzling is the backdrop. Mm-hmm. to all of this mm-hmm. and they know I'm going to be there no matter mm-hmm. how long I talk they know I'm going to stay until I put the last piece in wow <laughs> that is commitment I mean honestly we talk about commitment here with people you know having to sit down and not stop and just you know puzzle until they're done but we're not talking like a 12 hour I think I'm going to add you to my Belgian team I don't know if you've heard about this Adele no, I haven't. I'm dying to get a team together to do the 24 hour competition in Belgium and I think you just rose up into the the, the like you need to be there if you can do 30 some hours with oh. no sleep and puzzling straight through we gotta we gotta talk later 24 hours <laughs> is so it, it's like a 24 hour stream some people will announce that they're going 24 hours right mm-hmm. with me it's just called gma's live that means <laughs> it could be a 24 hour stream right and so uh yeah that's that's usually but 24 hours i always say well look Everyone knows I'll never be the fastest puzzler. They they gifted 40 mm-hmm. puzzles for me to practice with. I said, you guys know I'm not going to win. But if there ever was mm-hmm. whoever can puzzle the longest, mm-hmm. I would win that. <laughs> right? And well, you're, you're an endurance puzzler, I'm not exactly. a speed puzzler. There you are. You've got the <laughs> stamina go. going that for you. The stamina. It's the Yes, yes. Well, I have to ask you, because you are a, a major puzzler, I mean, what do you think of this image that we're working on? right now that these pairs are currently I didn't I am just seeing it now and I'll tell you this I never like puzzles that are busy. Mm-hmm. I came from the old Milton Bradley Big Ben oh, era. Oh, I know what you're where talking you about. Had mm-hmm. A sky with maybe some clouds, mm-hmm. a river at the bottom, yep. some grass, and a red barn. And so you knew <laughs> blue here, green here, yep, right? right? The water here, and the red barn. Yep. And so I come from that era. So those are the kind of puzzles that I like, right? Yep. But when it's a lot going on, I always like, um, it's no way. I'm, I'm, I'm just not going to. Really? Do it, okay. Right? So this wouldn't be your jam, so to speak. No, it would. I, I would do it, <laughs> yeah. but uh, and because I do a lot of the puzzles. Like if the uh, if the stream recommends a puzzle, I'll mm-hmm. do it. But they know I prefer simpler puzzles. Right. Okay, okay. <laughs> but this one is cute, though. Yeah, for it's Easter, very cute. Easter is a week from today, so we've got an Easter egg and a little mini Cadbury mm-hmm. egg yep. over here, and a few things she pointed out. It's called. I forgot again. I mentioned it earlier. Sweet Street. That mm-hmm. would be a nice one. Hey, Ravensburger, this would be a nice one for me to do for Easter. You know, oh, if, that's if true. I had it, you know. Okay. <laughs> hint, hint, nudge, Ravensburger. Nudge. You know, there just happens to be a few of those folks here see, today, so we'll see. see what we can do for you, Adele. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. So one of the things I wonder is, are a lot of the people that are following you on Twitch and interacting, are they also puzzlers, or is it just anyone? It's just anyone. When I started off, they have um, what is um, 
one of the um, uh, the most coveted things on Twitch is to be uh, a partner on Twitch, right? Mm -hmm. But you have to average a minimum of 75 viewers every stream, and mm -hmm. and it's it's kind of hard to reach that threshold just coming in cold, right? right. And uh, but I made partner on Twitch without a single puzzler in my community really? at that time. Mm -hmm. But now we have where um, I have introduced puzzling to hundreds of people. Mm -hmm. We have what we call a community, a mm -hmm. unity in the community puzzle along. Mm -hmm. So everybody, no matter your skill level, mm -hmm. we pick out a puzzle mm -hmm. and on, it's usually the last Sunday, but I'll tell you what, mm -hmm. they want us to change to the Sunday before last because they want to participate mm -hmm. in the USA JPA puzzle along. Yes, we have puzzle the, club uh, yeah, right, on the Sundays. Puzzle club yep. on the last Sunday and yep. so they want us to switch and so we, we are going to make that change. Oh thanks yes, that's, yes, that's, so. that's awesome of you and you know I hope to see you at Puzzle Club sometime because yeah you've been busy streaming so there you go I, I have to point out because just off camera there's a documentary crew here and they're filming you and you're part of that project correct so what yes. is that like that you're being featured in a documentary? Well since um, uh, somebody that I, I really love and I was so kind recommended me to this crew right and mm -hmm. um when I thought my stream was life-changing, when I told them that I was going to be filming for this documentary and they paid for me to come out to L.A. and there was this eight-person crew, right? Mm -hmm. And the crew was there and I'm thinking there are going to be some other puzzlers here, right? Mm -hmm. And I get there and it was only me. I was <laughs> like, you guys, I have to tell you, they have this whole studio and it's nobody but me. All of these people are <laughs> catering to me, all the cameras, all all mm -hmm. the lights, all the take twos, mm -hmm. it's all about me, mm -hmm. right? So when I came back, I was allowed on Twitch because I'm filming for the documentary that mm -hmm. now I can use celebrity and my title oh, at nice. Twitch. And Very everybody nice. is so excited. They are mm -hmm. already planning the watch party mm -hmm. and everything. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, you are, you, I mean, you're puzzle famous on Twitch, but you're going to be puzzle famous elsewhere, I think, too. We've We're got helping. a lot of people in the live stream, <laughs> and so tell them your, your name on Twitch so they can find you because lots of people are watching. We have 3,300 people on the YouTube stream right now. Oh, no. So how do they find you on Twitch? Okay. I am. I just love puzzles everywhere, and it's all just lowercase. I just love puzzles. One word. That's on Instagram, on Twitter, but mm -hmm. especially on my Twitch. Mm -hmm. It's twitch.tv slash I just love puzzles and I'm there uh, almost all of the time <laughs> if I am not live streaming on Twitch I am asleep hey, really <laughs> I absolutely love that because like when your family helped get this started for you did they have any idea what was going to happen and how it would grow I'm telling you when I tell them that um, I was like you guys look Kai Sinat, he's like the, the Twitch streamer of the year, three years going, right? Mm -hmm. He has millions of followers. Um, Berlizzi, uh, Ninjala, um, there are so many, so many big streamers, but they all know me. I didn't even know mm -hmm. all of these people knew me, right? And um, so when I tell the kids, hey, do you know such and such knows me? They're like, mom, it's not surprising. This is just who you are. It's like they figured that this would happen because, mm -hmm. for one, I like to talk and I like meeting people, right? Mm -hmm. And they know that I just have a true love for just people, period. Mm -hmm. And that draws a lot of people uh, to the stream. People in the chat, it's all go GMA, love GMA, <laughs> get over to Twitch, everyone. Everybody's giving you such lovely shout outs. I love them so much. And, yeah. and they know how much mm -hmm. I, I truly they know with my mm -hmm. whole heart and I always tell them from the depths of my soul mm -hmm. I love the people mm -hmm. that come, and, and I always I get a lump in my throat every mm -hmm. time I say yeah you're gonna make just, me cry it's so, like, be it's, careful <laughs> it, 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 it is so real deep mm -hmm. and when I tell them how much they have changed my life and now I know that they believe me right and I always try to avoid the sad part of it but I was really just living 
in a recliner in my home, mm. right? And just every day I was like surprised that I was waking up another day. I'm like, how do I keep waking up? It's like mm -hmm. I was so tired, right? And then when they created this account and I started going and I started meeting these people mm -hmm. and then instead of that sadness that I had, I was like going to the doctor. I was doing everything, losing weight and everything because now I have this fight in me mm -hmm. and I fight to live mm -hmm. every single day just so I can be with these people who are my family now. Oh, that's amazing. That's such a great story. And I do agree with you. The puzzling community, it just can't be beat. Like oh, everybody no. is just so generous and lovely. And yeah, what's it been like this weekend? Because there's a lot happening that you guys aren't seeing, right? You're all just watching the competitions at home. But what else have you been doing this weekend? What's all been going on? I'll tell you what, I really love when I was sitting at the table for the panel and waiting, and I looked over at the door and I saw Bizzles, and Bizzles <laughs> puzzled. And when I saw her, I was like, that's because these people, when, when people are, when I, when I came the first time, only one person recognized me, Puzzles A to Z, right? And I almost squeezed her to death. <laughs> and when she, when she recognized me. But now all of these other people know me, but... Um, what a lot of people don't uh, don't know, what I think they probably know mm -hmm. now, is that each one of them is a GMA to me. And mm -hmm. so I'm excited. I don't care if they are just uh, liking or commenting, not just on my post, mm -hmm. but on all the other puzzlers' posts, right? Mm -hmm. I see the people who are there mm -hmm. that, that don't even post themselves, right? But I recognize mm -hmm. their names. But mm -hmm. when I'm seeing these people, I am thrilled to see, and mm -hmm. I want to go, and I want to hug them, mm -hmm. and I want to take pictures with them mm -hmm. the same way that people are looking now to meet me, mm -hmm. right? But, it, I mean, and it just really is true that when something is really really your life mm -hmm. that you just mm -hmm. recognize everybody mm -hmm. you never feel like you're the star right it's always okay. about everybody else and that's mm -hmm. the way it is for mm -hmm. me oh I'm telling you you're making me get all teary-eyed on the live stream everybody sorry but it's just so lovely to hear that and I mean, we're just so glad that you could be here this weekend and that you're part of the documentary. I know Ben and Emily, and I was so thrilled when they said that they were going to be featuring you. And I'm just, it's just warms my heart. And we're so glad you're here. And thanks for joining us on thanks the live for stream. Me. I, I know that the community is watching. They have mm -hmm. a, um, I have a discord and they, they created mm -hmm. uh, what they call G Ma's living room. And they said, all the grandbabies will be meeting in G Ma's <laughs> living room, right? And, and with, without my permission or not, or anything they created this space mm -hmm. and so they're there and they've been there they're cheering for me for um uh uh Puzzler LG on Twitch, mm -hmm. um, but her name is Lorena, and she's here. She's part of the San Diego Puzzle Gals, and they mm -hmm. invited me to be on their team for this weekend. Mm -hmm. And uh, and our own Kyle, we have um, Metro. We have some people who do mm -hmm. those uh, large puzzles, Metro yeah. and Puzzle Betty. They do those mm -hmm. eighteen thousand piece puzzles oh live my gosh. on their. Twitch Don't do screen, that. Right? I would worry you wouldn't get <laughs> sleep for a week, and you'd end up like you know in the hospital or something. So be <laughs> careful. Yes, them. exactly. <laughs> Yes, hydrate, Adele. Right, right. <laughs> no, it's just, like I said, it's just wonderful having you here, and everybody loves you, and you're just, you're an icon in the puzzle community. And thank you so just much. thank you so much thank for you. joining us. Lots of fans in the chat, so we loved having you here, and, you know. Thanks yeah. for sharing your Thanks. story. Yes. It was right. exciting. It was thank fun. Thank you. Thank you Our so pleasure. much. pleasure. All right. Take care. Oh, I got to give her a hug. All right. And we're 51 minutes into this two-and-a-half-hour pairs final. $3,000 on the line for the winning, uh, $2,000 on the line for the winning team, $1,000 for each uh, member of the team. And folks are the, having, uh, you know, the slow time of this. It is a very busy puzzle. Sweet Street is the name of the puzzle. Demelza Houghton. Houghton is the artist, and we were able to talk with her as well just before GMA. And now we're looking at the Reuters sisters. They won one of yesterday's two preliminary rounds, and they're at the very same table as the winners of the second preliminary round, Kelly Walter and Andrea Peng. So kind of hard yet to really get a, um, you know, get a feel for who's ahead yet, at least at this point, from what we've seen. 
maybe some of the judges and stuff walking around have an indication. But right now, you know, we're seeing obviously the border on a lot of the puzzles and they're filling in that uh, purple river of yeah whatever the jelly excited. sweet stuff like, at the yeah. bottom we're seeing come across maybe some blue mm-hmm. eggs getting done here i love talking to adele but i at, at the same time i was like you know we got to go check back in with the puzzlers <laughs> here and see the progress and we are seeing some good progress there you're looking right now at kelly walter and andrea Pang. they probably are you know one of the favorites um in this pair final and definitely making some progress and you know but like i said we're at the 52 minute mark this is definitely going to be taking them a little longer (laughs) they're not going to finish this one in under an hour we're definitely going to be over an hour but if we see times around that one hour 15 mark i will be impressed i will be officially impressed and in fact if we can we should before we start getting down to the wire here let's uh We should uh, hear from some of our terrific sponsors without whom this competition and live stream would not be possible. But don't go away. As soon as we come back, we're going to give you another keyword to enter on our website if you want to uh, for an entry for our uh, live stream raffle with a bunch of prizes. I'm Jeff Whittle along with Valerie Coyd, and we're coming to you live from the USA Jigsaw Puzzle Nationals in San Diego. From the moment that we This could be the best thing that I'll ever know and they have the most fun puzzles. If you go to their website and check it out, they call themselves the Welcome to the Wonderfully Whimsical Weirdo Wigsaw Wuzzle Wumpany. And uh, it's a perfect tagline for a company that, as you can see, makes some really adorable, interesting, unique art on their puzzles. So everybody check out lapuz.com and, and support one of our sponsors. And now we're back live at the 2024 Mm -hmm. USA Jigsaw Nationals. I'm Jeff Whittle. She's Valerie Coit. And Mm -hmm. thank you for watching us on YouTube and Twitch. We are offering our live stream viewers a chance to win a prize. Viewers at home can go to usajigsaw.org, click on the live stream prize banner on the homepage, fill out the entry form. This time, enter the keyword FAST for a chance to win some amazing prizes. The keyword again is fast, just like our speed puzzlers here, and we're going to announce the winners of the live stream raffle during this afternoon's closing ceremony, which will live stream from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. Pacific time, one entry per keyword. There are 16 keywords being announced throughout the weekend, so keep tuning in for more chances to uh, win. Valerie? Yeah room full of folks here really right. working on these 1,000 no piece puzzles. Right, yeah. Not yet. I think if anybody tuned into the pairs thinking, well, I got to get in on the stream right when it starts because I don't want to miss it. Well, you haven't missed any finishes yet. A thousand piece puzzle can take two people a little longer than yesterday's times where we were looking at 22, 35, you know, for the uh, um, Andrea and Kelly finishing their puzzle in amazingly fast times. Today, it's going to take 
a little longer. As you can see there, though, it is starting to come together. That's Tiffany and Karen you're seeing on your screen, and they've gotten that whole upper section done. That's probably one of the easier bits, though, because you have kind of a sky and a lot of the blue. So that's been a good starting Again, point for a lot of Easter puzzlers. Easter egg is done up there on that exactly, corner, the, the orange little tree. Orange jelly, orange yep. tree, yep, that's done. So now they're going to get into that like busier section on the bottom, and that's probably going to be a little more challenging but you know we're looking from the table here we can see andrea and kelly and i think they're in their lead there they are they're on yes. your screen right now and oh boy my. look at how filled in that look is look at that they and are definitely coming along gonna i go think quicker and quicker right here now. it is gonna go quicker and quicker they they're good on the pieces because it looks like whatever they have left is just right there and they're gonna be able to uh just work from that they've done a good job managing it looks like Again, I think this is really challenging because you have a small space you're trying to work in. And a good time for a thousand-piece puzzle for two people is an hour and a half or hour 25 right around there. That would be a really solid time. We're coming up on a minute, an hour, right. and I think we're going to be... I mean, we're going to be not long after an hour. No. What are, what are the not. predictions out there, right? So. so somebody said 87 pieces remaining for them. If you can count that quickly, <laughs> ha hats off to that you. Maybe a guess. So, <laughs> yeah, it's maybe a guess, but, yeah, let's. let's Could be uh, an hour five, an hour ten tops. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, if that maybe. would be the case, then that would be an amazing, amazing time for two people on a, on a thousand-piece puzzle. And I wonder what the Reuters sisters puzzle looks like because they're just on the other other side of mm -hmm. Kelly Walter yeah, right and Andrea the, Peng. They're, yep. they're right next the to them. The other top team they, coming they, in, we had... We had okay. Oh, no, go ahead. No, I was just going to mm -hmm. say, well, in yesterday's second preliminary, Kelly and Andrea were the winners, followed by Yvonne Foyt and E.B. Karen, uh, and then Mari Black and Emma Pan finished third in that second preliminary. The Reuters sisters, Kathy and Jean, they finished their puzzle. It was a different puzzle, but it was 24 hours and 15 minutes. And then the second place team, Lauren Kautz and Sarah. 20, 23 minutes, 15 seconds, you mean. <laughs> oh, 20, 24 minutes, 15 Sorry, yeah, seconds. Yeah. Did I say hours? Yeah. Okay, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, that was about 24 hours ago. But uh, followed by Lauren Kautz and Sarah Schuler, just four seconds behind them. Don Rasmussen, Andrea mm -hmm. Kyle, uh, third. So those are six of the top teams. Now, also, uh, some of the other teams at Table 13, we have Hannah Scott and Jessa Douglas. Yep, they're uh, table definitely in it. 14, yep. Becca Taylor and Kelly Burr. It's Burr. Burr. By the way, yep, Kelly Burr. B-U-H-R, okay. We also have at Table 25, Gray Rogers and Katherine Dilks. Table 26, Lindsay Steenstra and Min, and yep. Min Deng. Yep. Uh, table oh. 27, Simi Berman and Alyssa Zackler. We jump over to table 32. Mm -hmm. There's that Kyle Cosen. Mm -hmm. Ka Ka what, Kai Co is what she yeah, called? Yeah, Twitch. Gma yeah. called her. And then and with Melinda Whiting. So those are some other very uh, dominant teams. Yeah, and you know, teams. I know it's, you know, for me, it, it's, it's, it's tough. You know, I'm sure we'll get to see a lot of these teams finish. But right now, you know, everybody's really focused on these top players who are you know in the lead um, I'm sure it's getting pretty nerve-wracking for them because they're right next to each other there we're seeing wicked quick on the screen Emma and Mari who we talked to yesterday they've been really working hard and practicing little ways to go for them I don't they could still make it in the top six we have six places that we're, we're rewarding today prizes to so we've got a hundred pairs in here and six of them will make it onto the stage Yeah, look at that. They're they're definitely cruising, but you know, it's hard to tell. Like it's a there's a lot of little patches open there yet. I saw some good predictions, you know, 10230, 104, 10 104. A lot of people are guessing 104, but yeah, we're getting very close on I can't believe this. If they finish this, that's an amazing time for this. Look at this. Is that only I think that, that five pieces yeah, I think left? That's it. I think that it? They did it. Oh. They did it. 101 that, 35 yeah, 101 36 I think right around okay. there. We'll see on the official results page. But that looks like a thousand dollars in each of their pockets. Right? Yep. They just wanted that. Oh, good job. Oh, oh look at that my. hug. 
Love to see it. Wow, that that was incredible. So they won the second preliminary heat yesterday. So yeah. that obviously made them the, certainly one of the, the favorites. They're the new pair champs for the with, Nationals. That's I right. mean, that's exciting because the Handy Reuters, the you know, they've the had Reuters. a lock on that for a while. And now, there's you know, the, here, yeah, the and they still they have still a little have more left pieces. to go than I would have thought. So they must have really cruised at the end with Kelly and Andrea. So we'll see how the Reuters sisters uh, do. Will they finish second, or is there someone that's even closer to finishing than them? Somebody told me from the floor that uh, Yvonne and and EB are looking pretty good. You yeah, bet. Misty, do you want to make sure to kind of manage, help manage that a little bit? I know Allie and I talked about it last night. There's Sarah Schuler and... She's paired up with Lauren Kautz. They're at table 17. We're seeing them. They look like they could be pretty close there to second place finish. So it looks like second is going to come down to the wire. Seeing some other ladies not quite yeah, uh, as no. far along. Got up in front here. You got Kelly and Andrea posing with the puzzle, looking at it a little bit, admiring it. In the team yesterday, you didn't get a chance with that first puzzle. You had to put it away immediately. <laughs> but now today, after they finish this, there's only one puzzle that they need to complete in this round. But, wow, you know, what an amazing time. If you want to see the results now as they start coming in, what you want to do is go to World Jigsaw. Uh, puzzle.org uh, go to the results tab and there is under that it's USA Nationals 2024 you click on that and you'll see all the tabs with all the results from this weekend and we're currently in the pairs final so that's where you can find the the times as they start to come in and there it is already 10131 wow that is a really good time on a thousand piece puzzle that's fantastic <laughs> very impressive There's Sarah and Lauren. See how many pieces they have left. We can't really see their boxes kind of in the way, but it doesn't look like there are many holes on their puzzle. Sarah and Lauren there on the camp on the main screen. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there yeah, now we're seeing only, Sarah and Lauren. Oh only yeah. Less I feel like we haven't away, seen them very much. So I've been wondering what's going on. We'll See the Reuters sisters over there? I think we'll There's this. We just crossed one hour and five minutes. So we have an hour 25 left. Hopefully all of the pairs will finish. These have all proven to be fast by advancing out of the qualifiers yesterday. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Here we're going to get a side-by-side -side view here of... Um, These are the Reuters here. Mm -hmm. We're seeing, what's that, yep, 25 the pieces Reuters. left yeah, or so? Yeah, they're getting close to... And oh, then uh, that looks like Lauren and Sarah. Oh, Lauren and so Sarah we've got, maybe, yeah. I think, are closer. Oh, boy. Wouldn't that be exciting? That I mean... It will be. Wow. This is just incredible. So this is going to be the real race, the mm -hmm, nail biter. Right? It's but, going to be a race for these like but now top Ke six spots. Kelly and Andrea finished at 101.31, mm -hmm. and that was four and a half minutes ago already, pretty much. Yeah, no, they won that handily So for they're, sure. they're winning it just like the Reuters won in 2022, right? when they had a six and a half yeah, minute yeah. Uh, Don't know if it'll be that big of a lead, but right. it's going to be close, maybe. Well, we're coming oh, up boy, on yeah, five here we minutes go. We here. We can really see it. They start to fly in so quickly at the end because, you know, you don't have a whole lot you're choosing from. You can kind of just right. pick it up, look at it, and then you'll know where it goes. I think that Lauren and Sarah are so close. Yep. I, it, from here, it looks like Lauren and Sarah are slightly oh, wow. ahead, but the, the Reuters is, now only have about the chat 12 is taken off. pieces People left. are all rooting for their favorites. So it's oh, already been boy. over five okay, minutes since yep. Kelly and Andrea finished theirs. Oh, but, oh what's going to happen? Which one of them is going to get it? Is that it? There it oh, is. Oh, wow. 106.48-ish wow. or so. 
Wow. Sarah and Lauren coming in second. And oh, and the Reuters finish right after. Oh, oh my. it's a reverse. <laughs> it's a reverse of yesterday with them finishing a few seconds after the or the Reuters finishing a few seconds after Lauren and Sarah. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah. Yesterday, Reuters finished four seconds ahead yep. of Sarah and Lauren, and now about four seconds after. Right, exactly. <laughs> it was another close finish. Wow. So talk we have, about evenly matched pairs there. We have our top three here, mm-hmm. but Kelly Walter and Andrea Pang yep. did win by over five minutes. Right. Crazy. Not quite the margin of I victory mean, that the Reuters had in yeah. 2022, but very close. I was predicting we'd be at around an hour 15, so I underestimated <laughs> these hour, folks. I said, I said about I mean, 50. I yeah. was technically a little closer. <laughs> you were. I was Price 17, is right rules. Yeah. You were on it. I was 17 on minutes it, off. You were about 25 <laughs> just, to, you know, just to break it down. But I, I guess I have I not as much faith I, in these folks. I, yeah. I was like, no, no. <laughs> no, I thought they really that the space flying. would be a, a tough thing to, to work with. And so I thought that was really going to maybe slow folks down. But in the end, I don't think it did that much. These the, are really solid times. Yes, they are. And now the camera's over yeah, on, on Karen and Tiffany. Karen, Karen so they've got to be in the running. Maduros. Yeah. So we've got our top three. We've seen their, you know, the top three have come in. We've got Kelly Walter, Andrea Peng at number one, Lauren Coates and uh, Coates and uh, Sarah Schuler at number two, and Kathy and Jean Reuter at number three. Is that one oh six forty seven and one oh ten seconds later with the Reuters? Okay, yeah. so it was ten seconds. Only of- ten seconds apart. That is exciting. Okay, and there we're seeing Andrea and Dawn, another really strong pair coming into this final. So yeah, yeah, no surprise there to see those two doing really well. So Andrea and Dawn huh. came in third in their preliminary heat yesterday. We so are they going to get a top spot in the Yvonne, in this final? And Yvonne Foyt and E.B. Yeah, Karen we also expect them to be in it too, yep. So the top six make the podium and yep. get either awards or yep. medals yep. and things like that. Yep, top three get trophies. Uh, four through six get medals. They all get a certificate, and then they all get puzzles, of course. Right, exactly. <laughs> Got to give them some puzzles. And the winner also gets? $2,000 for the winning pair, so $1,000 each. And the winning team yesterday, oh, the, yeah. the team final. Here we're seeing Becca Taylor and Kelly Burr on screen there. Got a little ways to go yet. But, you know, I'm thinking we're still going to see a lot of amazing times come in. Uh, I'm trying to figure out who's that we're looking at right now. Table 12 or table 18. Oh, that's Evie and Yvonne. Sorry, I couldn't tell from the angle here who that was. Wow, that's, yeah, just so impressive. So for this competition... um, We've given them two and a half hours to complete a thousand piece puzzle. So we still have an hour and 20 minutes left to talk, Jeff. (laughs) (laughs) So I'm just looking at yesterday's the team final. Kelly Walter was also on that and Andrea Peng as Mm -hmm. well. So So they each have $1,750 in their pockets because they won 1,000 each today. They won 750 each because the team got $3,000. So they've, they're two for two. Right. They've won both. And we still have, that's amazing. We still have the uh, individual final, of course, coming up this afternoon. So they have to be considered top contenders there. Now, um, Sarah Schuler and Lauren. Couts also finished second. They were part of the second finishing team yep, yesterday, yep. too, mm-hmm. along with Don Rasmussen and Andrea Kyle. Yep. And I think Don and Andrea are definitely in the in the mix for top six, potentially. And I'm seeing Karen. I can see Karen and Tiffany really moving off to the side here in my periphery. So I'll probably be going to them soon to see how it's going and the Reuters sisters finished fourth yesterday their team uh, sisters squared finished fourth so they came in third in the pairs so the Reuters sisters 
four yesterday, third today. Andrea Payne, Kelly Walter, first yesterday to, and today. To Sarah Schuler, Lauren Kautz, second today, second yesterday in the teams. Pretty amazing. And we'll get to talk to uh, the Andrea and Kelly and Sarah and Lauren here in just a little bit. We'll let a few more folks finish, though, before we come up here. We want to be able to catch these uh, next couple of finishers. Oh, we have Oh, another. wait, what happened? Oh, we missed Dawn, it. Oh, Don and, and Andrea snuck in. We didn't they have a camera did. on them. We didn't. Oh, wow. They really cruised at the end there, but we got it now. There you can see Don and Andrea. They got the fourth place spot. And now we're over at Karen and Tiffany because I think they're maybe, maybe looking at a fifth place finish. We'll see here. And we're about, we're an hour 12 and change into this competition. Mm hmm. So they're finished about 13, uh, about 11 minutes behind Kelly and Andrea. Uh, Sarah and Lauren and the Reuters sisters finished a little over five minutes behind right. the winners. Yeah, and there you're seeing Karen and Tiffany as they really cruise through this last little bit here. I think they're potentially on track to get the fifth place the fifth spot. Place. Lots of Karen fans, I'm sure, out there that are... See, somebody said maybe they'll make it in under one hour 15. I think you're right. I think it's going to really fly in here with these last few pieces. You can just see Tiffany's arms like she is a fast <laughs> puzzler. Her hands move in fast motion sometimes when you're watching watching Tiffany. Right. Yeah, look at that. They're getting so close. So this is the race for fifth. Yep. Yeah, I think it'll be under 115. It's going to go quick, those okay. last ones. But, yeah, and I'll then we're also it. seeing Becca and uh, Kelly Burr there. But I think definitely Karen and Tiffany have this. Got not that many pieces. That like? Yeah, there only they are again. I think we're going to catch their finish. Fifteen feet away from us. Yep, we can see them out of the up to the side here. Cameras and a judge there, ready to mark down their times. All right, we're good. <laughs> oh, we just got the oh. signal from a judge that there's a piece on the floor, but we don't know if it belongs to Karen and Tiffany or if it belongs to Doug and Suzanne, who they're sharing the table with. But they're and maybe going to be looking at having to find a piece, and the, let's and hope the, they see it quickly. And there will be a, if they don't find it, they lose. It's just a 10-second ten ten penalty. But I, and I think they'll be safe. I don't think Becca and Kelly there are going to be that close to them. But yeah, the the piece on the floor. We thank for the thank the right. judge for kind of pointing that yeah, to us, but not the, letting them know. He just right. kind of indicated gently to mm -hmm. us that there. And there's right now we've kind of come up with a new system. Actually, oh no, it's not their piece. They had it all. It looks like. There it is, fifth place finish, and it was right, right in there. I'll right be curious to see if they got fifteen. I'll be curious to see if it was under one one fifteen or not, right, but right. we'll see soon. And now look at oh, Wicked Quick is in there. Are Wicked Quick going to get in on the sixth place spot before Becca and Kelly? Because that boy, I think we're going to be close. And we also have Avon and EB in there. Six there. Mari and Emma, so it's going to be tight. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, yep. So it's someone else's puzzle piece that's, down on the that's floor. That's Mari and Emma there. Okay. What's that look like? Only like about eight pieces left there yeah, or so? Yeah, yeah. And going fast. Okay, this would be the last group to get on the stage and win prizes. It's, we go up to sixth place, and There's it's looking an like Mari and Emma 16. are going to do it, I okay. think. Okay. We talked to them Wicked yesterday. Fast. They're a new team. They start, I mean, Emma was here in 2022, but yes. she hadn't really ranked in the top, and now here she is this time. Oh, they're looking, oh, they're on looking the for floor. a piece. Oh, floor check. Yep. There's a floor check going on. Oh, did someone finish did before some, them? Oh, my gosh. While they were looking for the piece, Becca and Kelly finished. Oh, oh. my gosh. Oh, and that's heartbreaking. I think they literally just missed getting on stage 
due to a missing piece. We'll see, though. I mean, we do have to look at, like, what the penalty seconds ended up being, right, whether right. whether Kelly and, and Becca snuck in there. But it looked like literally right in the background you could see Kelly and Becca finish. And, boy, that went fast at the end for them. So they're we'll have to look at the results, the but they look like they're still looking for their piece. But the time, their time has stopped. They lost yeah, 10, yep. they, 10 so, seconds is added to their exactly 999 they, piece <laughs> plus 10 seconds. Right. So basically what happens in that situation is the volunteer notes when they finish the rest of the puzzle and when they started looking for the piece, and that if they don't find the piece, they add a 10-second penalty. So... I'm going to have to keep an eye on that results page, worldjigsawpuzzle.org. Go to the results, and you can check there, and we'll find out in a few minutes. Hannah Scott, Jessa Douglas was who they were showing a moment ago. Mm -hmm. So what was... uh, Oh, was was that Hannah and Jessa? Just who they were showing right right here. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, that's Hannah and Jessa, sorry. Yes. They they switched back. Right, right, the, right. The, yeah, they're all part of the same the same uh, the wicked team, quick team. Yeah, they were they were teammates mm-hmm. yesterday. Yep. Now they're yep. competing pairs today. Yeah. So and what was Karen? Karen, so and then they got Karen Tip, and Tiffany's time at one fifteen one fifteen oh one. Mm-hmm. So we they did not get into the in under the one fifteen. No, just barely. One fifteen oh one at oh, fifth yep. place. Three's about to finish. So the wicked quick team. Both pairs finishing in the top ten, top seven. That's impressive. Definitely, so they're going to be a team. Wicked to, quick, uh, formidable. They oh, there they go. One eighteen twenty. We've got the other half of Wicked Quick, Jessa and Hannah. Nice work on their part. So, was so that, they were. Yeah. Well, let's see. Waiting Where for those, waiting for that sixth place result. Yep. My guess is that you know, judges are having to confer, make sure everything looks right. You know, they want to make sure they have those times exactly right. In in those situations, you know, this is why you have a lot of volunteers in the room and a lot of judges because you need somebody on every table that's getting close because you can't have somebody you know wandering away and then. Now they've missed it, and they didn't write down the finish. So that's why we have so many folks in the yellow jerseys walking around, is so that they can be monitoring. Okay, we're about to get the top sixth announcement from from Allie. I can't see it refreshing on the website. I keep trying, and the Wi-Fi is a little slow in the venue oh here today. So we'll maybe just learn with the rest of you what the uh-huh. final sixth placement was. But, of course, most of the puzzlers are still trying to finish here. We're Mm -hmm. coming up on the one hour and 20 minute mark, Mm -hmm. which means we have an hour and 10 minutes left Mm -hmm. in this two and a half hour competition. But these are 1,000 piece puzzles. This is the first one. No, we well, we had two 1,000 piece puzzles in the team final. But as far as the pairs or individuals, Mm -hmm. this is the only 1,000 piece puzzle puzzle the prelims yeah. were 500 pieces yeah the next round that we'll be doing uh after this one is the individual final and that's a 500 piece Robinsberger. again we'll have 100 competitors in that round and ali krasny is about to make the announcement yep. from the main we're gonna stage go to ali with the announcements of top six we'll find out who the sixth place finisher was in their time all right i have an announcement keep puzzling during this announcement but we do have the top six teams finished In sixth place, by three seconds, we have Becca Taylor and Kelly Kelly Burke. (laughs) One hour, 16, uh, 19 seconds. Great job, you guys. In fifth place, we have Karen Cavett and Tiffany Medeiros, 115.01. In fourth place, we have Andrea Kyle and Don Rasmussen, 112.19. In third place, we have Jean and Kathy Reuter, one hour, six minutes, 57 seconds. Just 10 seconds ahead of them at 106.47 was Sarah Schuler and Lauren Kautz. And our first place finishers, 101.31, Kelly Walter and Andrea Peng. 
Great job, everyone. Everyone else, keep on puzzling. We hope that you're at least enjoying this beautiful image. And you can have some snacks afterwards, but no snacking during puzzling. Quick reminder to, quick reminder to keep your pieces separate. All right. We're back. We had a finish happen when we were uh, listening to the top six there. We saw Simi Berman and Alyssa Zackler finished. Another group that had a puzzle piece on the floor, but fortunately they found it right away and got it in there and only lost a few seconds. So that looks like they were maybe eight there because we didn't get a time on Mari Black and Emma Pan, so they probably finished seventh. We can maybe try to refresh the standings and see if the oh, if sure. seventh yep. came in. Yeah, right. here we I'll give it a shot. All right. Yeah, there okay. we go. Okay, we, so we've we, had yep. nine finishers, yeah, because we had Wicked so Quick get in there as well. So seven Yeah, so that 10-second penalty with the last piece, you know, I saw people in the chat being like, yeah, you know, Hannah that seems unfair, Jessa, but, you eight. know, it, it could be piece management, right? So you, you have to have some kind of mechanism for what seven. to do when that happens because, um, you know, it could be that if they didn't find it, at the end, it could be because it got over on the other side of the table. It could be in with the other team, and then they'll discover it when they finish. So, But, yeah, we have uh, the Emma Pan and Mari Black came in seventh, but just by a few seconds, only a couple of seconds after, two-second two difference seconds. there. And that's with adding the 10-second penalty. Right, so, technically, right. they finished first, but they were missing that piece. So... Becca and Kelly secure the sixth place spot. And then Hannah Scott and Jessa Douglas were in the eighth position, the other half of Wicked Quick. So look at that. I mean, they talked about that yesterday, that as a team, they're well matched. And you can't get any better match than that right, when they're exactly. finishing just a few seconds behind each other in the pairs final. <laughs> in a thousand piece puzzle. Right? Exactly. So congratulations to everybody, though. I mean, these times are all so impressive and amazing. I've never gotten a time like this. I do pairs all the time with <laughs> Shout out to my Paris partner, Mary Christensen. And I don't think we've cracked 125. I think that's maybe around the fastest we've ever been. And, you know, you look at these times and 101.31, I mean, come on. For a thousand-piece puzzle for two people, that's really, really impressive. If you think of that, that's each of them doing 500 pieces in just over a half hour. That's incredible, Jeff. Yes. Yeah. We'll be really interested to see. Are we going to see an individual in the final today get under 34 minutes? I mean, 34, I feel like, is the gold standard because that's what you see Alejandro doing in, at Spain. Right. Are we going to see somebody come under that, under that mark today? I, if we do, I will be just so excited about our chances at Worlds in 2024. Well, I'm trying to look at the uh, times in the... Uh first prelims i guess i don't have them right here in the individual prelims and we mm -hmm. had faster times than that even oh in the individual prelims in the individual prelims we had faster times i i can maybe try to grab my sheet but i uh it was because we looked it up and it was realized in fact uh yeah ali's we'll mother-in-law was we were start she asked and she goes that's better than Alejandro's time. Okay, and well, we googled yeah. and we did, but it, yeah. it looked to us really? that it was that it was faster I'm than the thirty-four. I'm not remembering that. I think it's yeah. a blur, Jeff. It, well, because, I, because we had those tough puzzles, those photo was, puzzles, and they took people a little longer. So we were getting more into the forty, fifty-minute range. I think with those. But, I mean, yeah, we'll see we'll, today. We'll check, we'll see. We'll check that yeah, out. Yeah, We're going to get ready ahead, here yeah. and have some pairs come over and join us at the table for interviews. So we're going to get set up for that, and we'll, we'll be interviewing Andrea and Kelly in just a moment. I'm just like, oh yeah, thanks. <laughs> I'm rocking puzzle shoes today. Okay, I'm gonna keep this with me so I can practice. Right. And he'll cue us when he's ready. Yeah. 
This is like becoming a thing for you. Hi. You know. <laughs> I don't know about that. This may be my Lights last time up here. Lights up close. I don't feel so good. <laughs> we go. Oh, okay. Well, let us know if you need to, you know. Oh, yeah. Good. Okay. Mm. Oh, here we, we are. And we are back oh. live. Well, and we have been, but now we just kind of moved mm. over a little bit to make room for our pairs winners. Congratulations, ladies. Yeah, thank you. You bet. So, Kelly Walter, Andrea Peng. Now, Kelly, you're ranked third in individual in the U.S., and you're ranked second. So that's really our highest ranking pairs combination if you take the, the two, which is awesome. You have a total of five. Having the lowest combined uh, ranking, of course, is the, is the best. Hour and one minute, 31 seconds. What do you think of that time for a thousand-piece puzzle? We did one of her oh, practice yeah. puzzles yesterday, but it was darker, and it was 1.15, yeah. I think, to practice. And we're both quite um, tired. Mm-hmm. Um, Not the no excuses, but. So I think it's really impressive. But this is a lot lighter, and we were mm-hmm. Amped had a up. lot of energy. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think I'm is, happy with it. I was going to say, is that a personal? I mean, you haven't puzzled a ton together, so is this the fastest time you've ever gotten on a 1,000 with the two of you? Yeah. I think we've only done three together yeah it's our third know. oh my gosh <laughs> piece, so. so i mean i'm trying not to get annoyed with you right now because <laughs> i practice all the time with my peers partner yeah. and i think our personal best is about an hour 25 minutes or something yeah. like that so looking at this time an hour yeah. one minute I, or, I mean that's amazing i don't know what kelly would say i think we've come a long way mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> since the first time i thought oh no yeah like, yeah we it was the first time was pretty rough um we puzzled together but we talk a lot. Mm-hmm. We use we use the exact same strategy we used for the pairs, which mm-hmm. same for the mm-hmm. five hundred, which was the same orientation. Mm-hmm. I do the edge. She starts to sort. Mm-hmm. She kind of suggests a few things to start with, and then mm-hmm. we just keep going. Yeah. Now. Like, let's look at that. Tell us about the image. What yeah. were your thoughts when you saw Adorable. that? So it was, yeah, we were both very excited. Um, I always like puzzles with really bright colors, and then the dessert theme was just so adorable um yeah we did i mean you can obviously see the big blue egg um the jello at the top and then the greenhouse on the right stuck out um the teal house in the middle also stuck out to me and the pink river at the bottom so i i just sorted all of that um while andrew was doing the hedge mm-hmm. uh, and then we both kind of worked on that after that mm-hmm. yeah. so the space constraint was it even a thing it doesn't look like it i mean looking at that time i'm like you did amazingly well considering yeah. you were in a tight space for that puzzle i think we both like we at least for me i have a really small desk at home so i'm really used to puzzling in a smaller space mm-hmm. um and then we just had a plan so we piled all of our pieces on top of each other they were in like maybe a third of our table and then we just built the puzzle on top and then as I sorted, the puzzle got thinned out, mm-hmm. and I'd sort to kind of where the um, different components were in the puzzle, and mm-hmm. I think that helped. Yeah. So organized. You kept it organized. I tried. It's organized mm-hmm. chaos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I always pile my pieces and just kind of pick from the top. I don't do mm. a complete sort, so I think both of us are used to not... Like, we didn't use a tray. I know some teams mm-hmm. practice with that. And maybe mm-hmm. because the puzzle was faster, mm-hmm. stopping to sort might have slowed you down. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. It would have slowed us down since we hadn't practiced mm-hmm. that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Were you paying attention at all to what Jean and Kathy were doing right next to you? At the end, like, when we were filling in, I took a little peek. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did that make you feel better or worse? You know, we now have the top well, 14... Congratulations. She said, we're doing, o- I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay. And then I said, but we don't know about Sarah and Lauren. Yeah. And, she, and, and I was so, like, oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> that way over so, there. They came in second. So it's true. Like, yeah. um, it wasn't a given. So, we'll let, we'll let Allie finish. Yeah. So stop on by there. Oh, look at that. Yvonne and Evie finished. Yeah. Love it. Your neighbor's so. puzzle pieces. Aww. So thank you so much. Keep on puzzling, guys. 
And that's what I mean. Like, okay, I got to acknowledge that. So if Bon and EB just finished mm-hmm. around an hour and a half, but coming into this, I told Jeff, I was like, you know, everybody assumes, well, you know, if it takes a strong pair, 23 minutes or something to do, you know, your guys' yeah. time the other day to do a 500, piece. maybe they'll be done in under an hour, 45 minutes. And I was like, oh, no, it exponentially gets harder with that many more pieces. And yeah. I was like... I would expect an hour 20. If it was an hour 15, I would be impressed. And then here you guys I, come in. And I said 50 because I was just taking yeah. doubling no. your 500 time and adding a yeah. little bit. Yep. And I was actually a little bit closer than on that I time. know. And so I said, I was like, that, you win. Price is right rules. Okay. And yeah. uh, you win it. But, but. Um, but just the fact that. And because of the noise, I didn't hear everything you were just saying, but mm-hmm. the logistics, the managing the pieces in the small space, you don't think slowed you down that much. And you said the small desk, you were yeah. used to that cramped yeah. condition. Yeah. So. yeah. I don't think it mattered. Really? For us. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, that's exciting. We'll I, I just want, yeah, yeah, I just want the people at home that get this puzzle, you know, give it a shot. But I told them you have to do it in the same way. You got to. <laughs> You know, make a nice little yeah. tape off a section of your table and, and work on it that way. Yeah. Yeah. And you've each pocketed $1,750 so far yeah. because if the folks at home don't remember from yesterday, you were half of the winning team as well. Mm-hmm. So $1,000 from this competition, yeah. 750 per person for all yeah. four from yesterday. So the Peace Corps, so you were number one there. It's ironic or not so co- coincidental that Sarah Schuler and Lauren Kautz were in the second place team yesterday as well. Mm-hmm. They finished second behind you, and the uh, it was like five minutes and sixteen seconds behind mm-hmm. you. So you had a nice margin of victory today right? over five minutes. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. you you were saying before Ali was making announcements that you totally peaked. What did you think when you looked over? You're like, we've got this. Yeah, it seemed like they had more pieces out than we did. So I was like, I just my quick glance, I was like, we're fine if we just keep moving. But mm-hmm. then again, we didn't know about Lauren and Sarah. And Sarah, so what they were doing. Yeah. We couldn't yeah. be too comfortable. Right, you couldn't put yeah. two, do- two tables right? down yes. or whatever. No, I wasn't, I wasn't going to walk so over there. Is, are you feeling like, okay, I can relax a little now? Or are you just like, not until the individual finals over this afternoon? I kind of feel like what happens happens. I don't really know. Yeah. I think for me, it really depends on what we pull out of the pull out of the blue bag. Um, we'll see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I'm actually stronger at higher piece count puzzles. I don't mm-hmm. race very well with the 300s, and so 500s are okay. Depends on the strategy because I think I okay, can miss plan number a little four bit. in the world. Well, <laughs> okay, no. yeah, we'll we'll. But the right, you know, Jean beat me to uh, Friday, but. Um, <laughs> I don't know. We'll yeah. see. We'll see. Yeah. Um, before, in case I don't yes. end up here again, yes. um, I wanted to make sure to say thank you to the board yes. and everybody that Aww. put this together. You. Because you're um, very welcome. Yeah, mm-hmm. for all of us, mm-hmm. many of us, like this opened up a whole new world of like friends mm-hmm. and activities and travel. Mm-hmm. And my kids just all left the house, so mm-hmm. now it's like, oh, my new world is mm-hmm. involved in puzzling, and mm-hmm. you know, like. Mm-hmm. Not like an ostrich speech. My family's been really nice about not mining piles of puzzles and puzzles (laughs) on tables like in the kitchen and the dining room table. And there's one outside the bedroom. And um, (laughs) I've been really lucky this year. Um, I have partnered with so many different people. And Mm -hmm. I know there's a woman named Heidi who has these adorable five children and she paired with me in California oh, and I know they're nice. watching so yeah. hi Heidi yeah. and your yeah, family no, give and a shout out. This my is aunt, your my mom moment. and dad yeah. and my kids <laughs> um, so this has yeah. been yeah. fun and I feel like yeah. mom did it so what it's about for us yeah. it's so rewarding this weekend to see everybody and just having such a good time and yeah. and i love that you know it's a competition but it is fun yeah. like i i'm never happier than when i'm competing in a in a speed puzzling contest yeah. it's like just i'm in the zone i'm i'm yeah. loving every moment of it yeah. is that what it's like for you yeah yeah i mean once it starts i feel like you get the shakes in the beginning and then you settle in and it's just move as fast as you can but i also wanted to thank all of the board Mm -hmm. um and then my family they've been really supportive my parents are here this weekend um our team thanks for adopting me to the california team (laughs) Um, i really appreciate that Mm -hmm. um yeah and just thanks everyone watching i know i have a lot of family and friends Mm -hmm. out watching so 
Oh, well, we, we, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. we're so happy for you and just amazed by your talent. Yes. And there's so many people watching that were just like, are you kidding me? When you guys yeah. were narrowing in on finishing in that quick of a time. And yeah, yeah you have lots of fans. Yeah. And, and we're fans, yeah. too. And you guys just were amazing. Yeah. One thing I didn't yeah. mention yesterday, I think it's interesting. We have on our team of four, we have someone in their 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s. Yeah. Really? So yeah. I, we didn't come up with a cute name for the decades. <laughs> But it is kind of fun to have that mm-hmm. span of mm-hmm. friends of all ages. Yeah. You know, yeah. it doesn't I mean, really matter. Mm-hmm. It is a very, like, you look around the room and, yeah, it's a, it's a great community of just people from all backgrounds. Yeah. And, and, you know, yeah, it, it spans all the generations, right? Because yeah. you may do puzzles when you're young and then you, you pick it back up when you're older or you keep doing mm-hmm. them your whole life. And, I mean, we had we had Gma Adele on here earlier and she made me cry already. So, you know, I'm in trouble today. I think I'm a little emotional. I think, but uh, yeah, it is just a lovely community, and yeah, yeah and we're glad you're part of it. You guys yeah, are thank amazing. You. Thank, thank you, everyone. Yeah, yeah um, congratulations again. Thank you. Yeah, we'll and be I'm wearing you. my um, Arlene. I don't. Do you remember Larry? Oh, yes, yes, Larry and Arlene. passed out these They've adorable pins. Yes, at Worlds, yeah. and I mm-hmm. brought it with yeah. me for good luck. So yeah. I'm wearing my um, USA yes. pin, and I yes. think I'll have to wear it every time from now on. Oh, nice. Yeah, it brought you some luck. Yeah, we've yeah. been seeing them, you know, they're definitely watching. So, yeah. yeah. So, I love it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Well, good luck in the yeah. individuals. Thank yeah. You so thank you. Much. Yeah, welcome. thank you so All much. Right. Great if job. I'm be okay if I lose. <laughs> well, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> All right. All right. We'll bring Sarah and Lauren okay, over. If you, you see them over there, you bet. send them on over and we'll talk to them as well. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, if you can get Sarah Lauren, that'd be great. Just go down the line. All right, there's been a lot of finishes happening when we've been off off screen, or, you know, when we've been interviewing here. I'm going to quick refresh and just quick show us how many. Oh, wow, so we've had 24, 24 pairs have finished, including my friends Betsy Parker and Robin DeCare. They snuck in there in the 22nd spot. Lindsay Steenstra and Min Yi Dang, they got the 19th spot. Oh, lots of recognizable okay. names. Suzanne and Doug. Uh, wow, it's it looks like while we've been chatting here, it's been a, just a... a you know, quick group of just people one after the other pairs finishing the puzzle. So lots of action happening out on the floor there. And I think in the two and a half hour time span, we're going to see a lot of these folks finish. I mean, in order to get into this division, they had to, you know, get in the top 50 of their prelims. So they've proven to be speedy pairs already, of course. Exactly. And we have about 50 minutes left. So mm-hmm. we're in Mm-hmm. hour and almost an hour and 40 in yeah yes i it's so there's a, a hundred you said 24 so we have yeah out we're of 24 approximately 100 we may have been short one or two a few last minute mm-hmm. dropouts so we're about a quarter have about a quarter of the finishers yep so far yay well congratulations ladies thank you you bet so <laughs> lauren Couts and sarah schuler yep. mm-hmm back here at the interview desk again so we're not at the dais yes i know i, you, I know it has been dais i don't know why i threw that in my favorite part i know <laughs> welcome back to the dais ladies. Yeah, thank yeah. you All thank right. you what a warm welcome yeah so you did it you beat the reuter sisters yes that was that was our one like literally the only goal the only goal really i was like i, I was gonna be happy with top three but i was like if we can beat the reuters that was what we were aiming yeah. for right? but now there's a three second discrepancy in our beating each other by seconds right? because I know. it was 10 seconds right oh, you guys giving us yeah. heart attacks so i don't know here. i know there's three seconds that it might be made up and the, <laughs> they might beat me by three seconds again in the, <laughs> in the, in the individuals or maybe oh maybe right yeah no let's see i just think it's great though that we are so close yeah together yeah. so close it makes matched. it so much fun yeah and like it's a it's a rivalry of love like yeah. we we love cheering them on and they love cheering us on oh my gosh, so, yeah. and good. i get to puzzle with the writer sisters this summer on a team at, Ooh, at really? the portland masters so. oh goodness that's a power team there right <laughs> yeah. and becca taylor what oh, wow. okay that's amazing 
Well, yeah, it was funny. We just talked to Andrea and Kelly, and we're like, okay, you got the Reuters right next to you. Are you peeking? Are you looking at where they're at? And Kelly said, well, at one moment I looked, and I thought, yeah, okay, I think we are a little ahead of them. And then she was like, but then I remembered that Sarah and Lauren were over there. Right. <laughs> yeah. She didn't know how, yeah, you. if you were yeah. ahead of them. Or right. And that really gave them the push to get first place. <laughs> <laughs> They knew, they knew you were lurking Yeah, out there. they did. It's, it's my kind of puzzle, at least. Well, I mean... Yes, I, talk about yeah. the puzzle. Yeah. I was happy to finally have Sky. Sky mm-hmm. is my favorite thing to puzzle, and none of the puzzles that I've gotten so far this weekend have mm-hmm. had Sky, so Sarah well, immediately gave it to immediately me. immediately put... I was like, you know what? I'm going to put all these lovely <laughs> Sky pieces that look so fun to put together <laughs> on a piece of oh, a Zacco puzzle board. Uh-huh. Um that you can work on later yep. at your leisure. Yep. Um, yeah, because I didn't want to do that sky. I don't like sky at all. Even this was actually a very cute sky, like the little cotton candy trees. Come I on, know. get out of here. This yeah. is adorable. It was an adorable puzzle. I was gonna say, did you even have time to admire all the cute little details? Yeah, or I said something about it while I was like, I wish I had time to like appreciate yeah. like, like the, little the little pieces bits. I was doing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But no, um, we'll have to. Well, maybe we'll have to do. Nah, I don't want. You're gonna do have to watch the live stream. <laughs> yes. 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 yes, yes, for sure. Because we had Demelsa up here talking about it oh. and pointing out all her little favorite bits. Ooh. Including the hedgehogs yeah. who had been a couple in another puzzle and now are married. Oh yeah, in this one. yeah. I noticed that they were getting married. I love that. <laughs> what was my favorite? I I liked um, the little grapes. Those were cute. They're just so cute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So she yeah, was and talking the penguin about and the, the banana boat. Mi- mini, yep. The mini Cadbury eggs there, and oh. uh, that you may not have even seen. So what part? No. So you said you passed off the sky yeah yeah i so, started with edges and then did went in the sky well mm-hmm. edges river sky was my order okay. we normally don't do a sort while we're flipping but mm-hmm. since it was such a tight space and we mm-hmm. didn't want to use our sorting trays where we would have to be holding them mm-hmm. with a lot of pieces on them mm-hmm. uh we dumped it all and started sorting a little just yeah. the things that were a big section that was easy to pull out so like that purple river mm-hmm. i pulled it out but lauren put it together mm-hmm. and then um, you did a lot of the yeah I grab the things and give me a pile. I just feel what? so sorry. A generous, I feel so sorry know, this she weekend. Was a very Puzzler. generous pair. <laughs> Maybe no I'm trying offense, to pull a Kristen but I'm just sort of like you really. Yeah. Sarah? <laughs> I know. Yeah, I'm not a sorter. And right? just this weekend, I've been like, let's sort. Let's sort. Here you go. I know. Here you go. I'm, I'm just pile like here. whatever you need, Sarah. I'm versatile. Yeah, if you sort want of, me to sort, I can sort. I sorted the individual one. Right. Really everything. What's happening? With I don't you? know. You're <laughs> switching it up. <laughs> Got to keep it fresh. Yeah, you're changing it up. You but clearly, keep it's working. Yeah. I love getting second place. Yeah, always. <laughs> I mean, I, that was actually serious. It's not sarcastic. I'm so happy. Like second place yeah. in pairs and teams at Worlds. Second place in pairs and teams at nationals. Yep. yep. You'll take it. Wow. Second now till we I just die. Got individuals. Yeah. Right. Second place again? <laughs> yeah, as long as I can have first. Yeah, you can have first. Okay, thank you. Fair. <laughs> Actually, no, I want to beat you. <laughs> so you what? finished in an mm-hmm. hour 6.47. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, about five minutes and 16 seconds, though, mm-hmm. behind uh, Kelly and Andrea. But yeah. as we mentioned, you mentioned just 10 seconds ahead of the Reuters. So oh, yep. the real tight battle was for yeah. second, second and third. third. Which yeah. you came out Did on top they on. get on camera us pointing at them? Yeah. And I, then believe them pointing so. back. I yeah. believe so. We were so. doing hearts across the, <laughs> across the way. Yeah. It's just such a fun rivalry. Yeah. Do you guys have a personal best on a pair puzzle in a thousand? Like, <sighs> do you know what it is? Or would share it because I'm I'm really impressed by these times for a thousand piece in a pair. I think an hour. I mean that's really impressive. I don't know if we've. I don't know. We've done a thousand. No, we normally do five hundred as a pair. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Was this our first one thousand as a pair? Cute. Maybe (laughs) we've done some wooden ones as a pair, which are like a variety of pieces. So I'm just gonna tell you from a a audience perspective, for you to be, have we ever done a thousand pieces a pair, (laughs) and then you come in second? How obnoxious! (laughs) Well, we puzzle together. Yeah, we. That's the thing. Like, yeah, we're used to being next to each other, bumping into each other. Like, Mm -hmm. I know where she's gonna go next, and she knows where I'm gonna go next, Mm -hmm. and that's that makes it a lot easier. Yeah, yeah. It helps living in the same city, roughly, or two cities, twin cities. Yeah, we host cities. Yep, we host our competitions together and all that. So lots yeah. of fun. Yeah. Well, um, yeah. It, it, talking about the different the difference between the five hundred and the one thousand. So Demelsa, the artist, Houghton, she said this was supposed to be a five hundred piece puzzle. Yeah. And she put Everybody, so much detail right? into it. Oh no, this one. Robin Burger said we had to make it a thousand uh-huh. piece because 
Yeah. So we could see all of yeah. the little details. So that's it, everybody. All the folks that coming into this who are like, why would you do a thousand shared table pairs? What are you doing? It's like, that wasn't the original plan. It was going to be 500 and then oh. Demelsa had to make it all gorgeous and detailed and beautiful. Yeah. And then we were like, oh, oh wait a second. What? It's going to be a thousand now? Oh, okay, great. Um, cool. So <laughs> it's Sweet Sweet Street. Oh, and of like course, Novel Avenue. Yeah, the name of it. And ju- of course, Easter's a week from today, so yeah. we had oh, to have yeah. the Easter egg and stuff in there. So I know I like the bunny bar. The Easter egg of the Easter egg. I know it's like one big Easter egg. Yeah, basically. that's so cute. A bunch yeah. of little ones. It is cute. I know. I for it. me, it's like I love her puzzles. I like fantasy. Mm-hmm. So this yeah. really is my is my vibe that I love. I mean, all of the puzzles this weekend, though. I mean, do you have you had a favorite thus far? This one probably this is one? my favorite. Yeah, really? Well, yep. we, got, we got to wait, because I love Nathaniel's art. Mm-hmm. I think it's so beautiful. Some of his heart, art is hard to puzzle sometimes, mm-hmm. but... He does have some pretty cool art. Wait, are you suggesting that Nathaniel's <laughs> is the, in the individual Oh, final? yeah. What are you well, talking I about? I actually do it's not know, guys. This is me <laughs> speculating. <laughs> well, he is here, and he is doing an artist signing. So, so I'm going to guess. <laughs> Put two and two together, maybe. But I'm excited if for that. They pieced together the clues <laughs> that he's the one artist that yes. we have, yep. did, so to speak. That we haven't seen that, yet. That we haven't seen yet. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Well, and we love Nathaniel because he was here in 2022 and I hear, you know, I'm fangirling over him and then he's like asking to be my Facebook friend and I'm like, what? <laughs> you know, like, that's so cool. I did that. Demelsa came in while mm-hmm. I was setting up, um, stuffing name tags on Thursday mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, are you here to volunteer? Because I didn't, I didn't know what she looks like. Oh and she's God. like, are you Sarah does puzzles? And I was like. Who 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 are you? Yeah. And she's like, I'm Demelsa. I was like, Oh my gosh, you're Demelsa. I she's like a celebrity. I'm right? such yeah. a fan of you. <laughs> <laughs> she is the nicest person too. Yes. Like, oh, they're all they're all lovely. So, so nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. perfect. She said she has eleven. Pu- this was her eleventh puzzle. The one we un- we. Oh no, De- that was Demelsa. It was eleventh. Um, no, that, yeah, it was, yeah, it Demelsa. was Demelsa today. Yeah, um, yeah yes. this is her 11th. But was, she said uh, some of them were kid puzzles. So yeah, I was like, oh, that would explain kid. why I haven't right. got all 11 yeah. of your puzzles. Right. Yeah, well, the kids ones, 11. I think they could re-release them in a bigger size. You know, not a bad idea. That's what we did with the Cobble Hole speed run that we're mm-hmm. doing this year for the 2024 speed run that USA yeah. Jigsaw does is we took basically an image from what was a kid puzzle. We were like, why are only kids getting to do this adorable Rainbow Cats thing in a 100-piece version? Like, can we have this? is like a big puzzle so yeah, yeah I love, love that. I did that puzzle in the thousand piece and it's so cute yeah, so yeah. I'm really yeah. excited to do the 500, the 500 one yeah, yeah and with the cute little USA JPA edition it's got little things in there <laughs> little mentions but yeah if you're curious about what that is it's similar to video game speed running we you basically get a puzzle and you can do it as many times as you want just trying to beat your your mm. personal record on it and just go to our website usajigsaw.org to check it out do you guys do the speed run I have not yet. Okay. Uh, my items from last year is still in the plastic wrap. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't like doing a puzzle over and over again. It's not mm-hmm. satisfying to me, but mm-hmm. I, I am going to do it at some mm-hmm. point, especially because it's Robin, Robin's yeah, yeah. artwork, and yeah. it's just so oh, beautiful. Yeah. Um, but mm-hmm. I definitely will do one run of the speed run this year mm-hmm. at least. Probably mm-hmm. just one. Yeah. I, I tried it, and then I quickly realized that, no, I don't think this is the thing for me. But I the thing I think that could be useful from it is the people that do it so many times that they start to see their time get, like, down to a half hour or 25 minutes mm-hmm. or something to do a 500. And I think, like, that's training you as to what that feels like to go that quickly yeah. because – you know, I don't know what that feels like as a, as a puzzle right now. <laughs> and so, not very fast. Right? I so, think my fastest is like 33 minutes or 32 something. Uh, yeah. And that's like the fastest ever. Right. So, fast, right. So. We'll see if we hit that today, right? We can feel yeah, what it feels luck. like to be Alejandro. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, that would be amazing if we see anybody finish in like under 35 today. I will be thrilled. Do you guys have any predictions about that? I'm hoping like sub 45 is my goal. That's your goal. I always yeah. just want to be under an hour. <laughs> <laughs> but I know it's so not going to be a photography <laughs> puzzle and that's making me happy. Well, it shouldn't be a photography puzzle, hopefully. I if mean, the we'll artist's see. speculation is correct. Yes. <laughs> yes, we will see. I yeah. can't reveal anything. But, yeah, no, I mean, all of the times this weekend are just so impressive. I hope there's people from 
you know, worlds we're watching and are like, oh, no, you know, are the Americans going to come in 2024 worlds and perform even better than last time? I, I know. Mean, I've never well. I've never been to Spain. So Lord this will be my first on, year. Yeah. More check on the main screen. Oh, Oh, there oh, you go. They, yeah, they were just frantically yeah. both oh, under the table there oh, wow. a moment ago. Yeah. Oh, I thought that you were was... saying Team Floorchuck, and I was like, Team Floorchuck isn't here. No, I miss you guys. I know, I know. We miss you. He's picked up the lingo. In real, in real, yeah, exactly. <laughs> in real life. Bag check, Floorchuck. Oh, and another group over here in the corner mm. finished. That's awesome. Mm. Yeah, I think we're going to have most of these pairs finish this in the two and a half hour yeah, time yeah, period. I think so. I think. Yeah. My mom and Leslie are still going, but. Are they? Send them some good love in the comments. Okay, we'll root for Lisa and Leslie. They Made it into the final, which was their so goal. Proud of that them. was all they cared about. So so let's just make them. it. And they're in here and they're puzzling right now. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see some more people finishing. Best of luck to both of you, Thank you. this afternoon. Thank you. Shout out to Graceland at home and dad. Yes, and your sponsor. <laughs> My sponsor, Puzzled Lee. Yes, I'll remind you. Marketplace of puzzles online. You can find them. P U Z Z L E D Y or D L E Y. What am yeah. I even saying? I can't spell guys. <laughs> Puzzled. <laughs> And then L-Y. What yeah, am I even yeah, doing with my life? <laughs> or the link is in my, my bio on Instagram. <laughs> Y'all, we're tired. This is How many pieces have we put together this weekend? 500, 1,000, 1,000? A lot. A 500, 1,000. And yeah. helping on that 50,000 upstairs. And, oh, yeah. I, 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 I have. have. Puzzle I have. Oh, yeah, chest. puzzle chest for you. Yes, puzzle chest. How did you do in puzzle early? early? Did you? <laughs> Third round. <laughs> I... But my the person that beat me out went to the finals, so I was oh, very, very happy nice. with Hannah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah Hannah it. Scott and Alice Reed made it in the yeah. final, right? Yep. There's and some then new, who won new... it? Was it Hannah? Yeah. No, it was oh, Alice. Alice, Alice won it. Did. Yeah. Oh, I love we talked all these to her names the other day. that, yeah. even if they're not necessarily new people, but they're new to the the audience out here, mm -hmm. like people that are coming up up and coming in the mm -hmm. in the in puzzle, puzzle world. Yeah, and yeah. they definitely distinguished themselves this weekend. Yeah, as up and comers, we're all going to be keeping our eye. I mean, Alice is like 17. Right, not fair. I know. You're she getting old. So many, I know. We're, we're going to be washed here <laughs> soon, and Alice stuff. is going to be the next one. I was talking to her one. dad last night, and I'm like, I'm on the, like, the downside of the, <laughs> the like, being really good at puzzles. Like, I feel like, like, 24, 25, 26 That's is, like. the peak. I feel like, well, I mean, I but. Hit, I hit 30 this year. I'm, I'm, I'm on the downward slope. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's A-OK, -okay, though. But not That's if, why we're not if you're the, the Reuters, now. though. Yeah, I know. The Reuters are I don't know what they're. Forever. Yeah, well, forever immortalized. Yeah. They're 25. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know I would be feeling really good right now if, if my pair beat the Reuters sisters, yeah. and I knew it when you sat down. I was like, that's going to be the yep, goal, yeah, right? Yep, and yep. we did it. I'm so happy for each other. Like, right. Yeah. Yeah. I, just, I don't know. Yeah. It'll be harder to be happy for them if they beat me by a few seconds in, in individuals. individuals. <laughs> I, like for first and second place. Because that's like. You're just saving for second at this point, right? Like, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> you don't want that money, right? <laughs> definitely. Yeah, no. right. You don't need I don't, it. How many puzzles could I buy with that, really, though? <laughs> I mean, yeah, you probably don't need it because all those extra puzzles just crowding yeah. up your house. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, right. need don't need it. Don't need it. Well, any shout outs from you, Lauren? Anyone? Uh, yeah, I'll shout out my sister, Rachel, watching. And my mm -hmm. husband, Chris, and my two friends, Mitch and Sam, that are here, they have been to every puzzle competition, flew all the way here, are flying with me all the way to Spain. Wow. So, oh, big yeah. shout out you to them. Their crew. You yeah. have an entourage. Yeah. 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 That's lovely. A yeah. posse an is what we call it in the puzzling yeah. world. Yes. Right. A puzzle they, posse. There you exactly. go. <laughs> yep. Nice. Yeah. The puzzle love it. The puzzle posse. The puzzles are great. Yep. Yeah, we'll, we'll find one for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You Congratulations. <laughs> Good luck this afternoon. Yes. Maybe we will see you back. That's right. Yes. Great. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> Masterpieces jigsaw puzzles. Each piece is meticulously hand drawn to deliver an unforgettable puzzling experience. Puzzle Warehouse. Puzzlewarehouse.com is the premier destination for puzzle enthusiasts. We offer the largest variety of puzzles in the United States, catering to all ages and preferences. Our commitment to customer satisfaction is evident in our user friendly website, which provides a seamless shopping experience. Additionally, Puzzle Warehouse supports the puzzle community by fostering a culture of engagement and enjoyment around puzzling, hosting events, and offering a Puzzle of the Month Club. We hope to see you soon at PuzzleWarehouse.com and Eboo. Eboo is proud to be part of the 2024 U.S. Jigsaw Nationals. Eboo Peace and Love 
creates puzzles that are always beautiful and tell a story. We collaborate with independent artists from around the world to create designs that are sturdy and sus- sustainably made from 90% recycled board and vegetable-based inks. Learn more about us at eboo.com. So we're about an hour 56 minutes into this competition, so we have just under 34 minutes remaining. Um, the room is emptying out a little bit, of course, as, fo- as the pairs finish their puzzles. They move on out so they don't disrupt the folks that are still puzzling. We hope everybody is able to finish their puzzle. And we can see another pair here. Looks like a youngster puzzler here on the right-hand side of the screen with his dad. Is that Mike and uh, Dylan? Wonder. Okay, let's make room for the Reuters. All right. Excellent. (laughs) Welcome back to the dais. You bet. Kathy and Jean. Excellent. Another. That puzzle is beautiful. It was so much fun to do. Yeah. Sweet Street is the name of it. I'm really looking forward to doing it again um, where I can kind of take the time to stop Mm -hmm. and enjoy it Mm -hmm. and see it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I really want to do this one on my own and really just look at the puzzle mm-hmm. while doing it because it's mm-hmm. so beautiful. Yeah, it is a gorgeous puzzle. It's yeah. a happy puzzle. What's funny is we've been explaining, and Demelsa joined us earlier, and you know this was supposed to be a 500-piece puzzle, and then oh, she oh. put together the art, and as it came together, Rachel and the team were like. I think this needs to be a thousand piece. And we were like, wait, what? And then <laughs> that's, <laughs> what that's what happened. That's happened. Okay. So I was like, it's your fault, Demelza, that they're all having these tiny spaces to do a thousand piece puzzle in. But, you know, who cares, right? Like, it all worked out. I mean, yeah. everybody did so well. I mean, the, the times were incredible. How are you feeling? I mean, you came in as the odds-on favorite with a six-and-a-half-minute lead in the last the, the win, win in 2022. <laughs> go (laughs) yeah the rankings i mean who has come the competitors have changed changed so much (laughs) yes and we knew who the artist was and so we knew it would be a busy puzzle which Mm -hmm. isn't necessarily our strong suit but what we knew was gonna um cause the most difficulty for us was trace right uh so we are totally happy with our third Third place place finish finish. yeah oh good we knew that first place was going to be totally up in the air for finals which is fun we love it when you don't know who's gonna Mm -hmm. win right yeah Yeah. we we didn't exactly no we did we were just like nail biting i mean it was so (laughs) close you just couldn't tell what was going to happen and then all of a sudden there was like a moment i feel like where kelly and andrea just picked up speed and it suddenly became like oh and they said that they looked at you guys at one point and were like (laughs) okay maybe we've got this but they didn't know where Lauren and Sarah were or how far behind they were were you getting any sense that like you could get second or third or did you know that it was close or were you just like not focused on that just keep puzzling we don't really focus on the others Mm -hmm. so much that's not true though because for pairs prelims we definitely were were keeping an eye on Sarah and Laura oh really yeah yeah well they were right there Yeah. yeah yeah but no we we had a feeling we actually weren't necessarily going to be first on okay, this one. Okay. We were but, comfortable coming in knowing that someone else is going to take the title this yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you passed off the torch yes. just a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. just on the times, Kelly and Andrea finished five yeah. minutes and 16 I seconds mean, ahead. Not that six time. and a half yeah. minute uh, yes. gap that you guys won by in 2022, but mm-hmm. they did have a large Good gap, lead. and then yeah. it was only 10 seconds between... You, I mean, so you, your close. third place finish mm-hmm. behind Sarah and uh, Lauren. and Lauren. Yeah, yeah. we're having so. fun flipping. On this, this yeah, year. right. Yeah. Yeah. They talked about that because, of course, you edged out Sarah by th- three yeah, Cal- yes. by uh, by th- three seconds. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. In the then, in the in individual preliminary. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. of course, that has yet to be decided on how the individuals oh, are going to yeah. come down to. But uh, but yeah, the, just neck and neck. Um, I'm curious if you guys would share like what your personal best is on a thousand. If you've beat a personal oh. record at all for this pairs. weekend for, for pairs. pairs? Mm-hmm. Oh no, we certainly have not beat a personal best. Okay. Huh? My phone with all our times is in my room. Well, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we came close though with the prelim. Oh, you did. Yeah, okay. because. Yeah, with five hundred. But yeah, with a thousand. Geez, no. Well, I have to confess that when we 
have done times for a pairs on the thousand, mm -hmm. we've had a full table. Oh, so right, yeah. right. So you feel like that really made a big not difference. not a comparison yeah. for And are you talking the first time on the, doing the puzzle or like well, repeat? Just puzzle. like, you know, because to me, if I'm looking at times for a thousand for pairs, you know, if you're getting under an hour, 15 minutes, that's a pretty solid time. I feel like these are fast times even with the space yeah. constraints. But what are you feeling like yeah. looking at the times I, that came in? The times actually for this space are amazing. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. right. Um, I was expecting probably more towards 115 with trays. Mm -hmm. uh, without trays at home, Yeah. our target is under an hour. Oh, wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. For, for an easy 1,000. Right, for right. For a hard 1,000, it's more around the 110, 115. Okay, well, you heard it here, yeah. everybody. It's a target, people. Under yeah. an hour <laughs> is target, <laughs> right? But that's impressive. I know as a person who does Paris competitions, and, you know, we're glad when we make it in our, in our, under an hour and a half. So under an hour, I can't. I mean, that's out of reach for us, I think. But, I mean, it's, that's incredible. It's a, an ambitious goal. <laughs> we do not hit we it do not most hit of the time. It most of the time. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I, we, have, but you, we have made it. You set yes. your sights high, though. Yeah. Of right. course. Yeah, yeah. we need yeah. to. We right. usually get pretty close to it. I'd yeah. say mm -hmm. usually mm -hmm. probably around 103 to 105. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So wow. pretty close to where we landed with Trey's. Right. On right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It didn't affect you that much, I don't think, honestly, because I was watching and I just felt like, wow, you know, people are doing a really good job of kind of managing the space and working with what they had. I didn't see, I think what I would expect if people were frustrated is a lot of moving the pieces from one place to another yeah. without yeah. progress yeah. happening. And I really didn't see that. People, That's good. Yeah. they had it together. They'd practice. I know going into Worlds, the first time for me, we got that 1500 piece and you had to use trays. We hadn't really practiced. And I swear we spent a ton of time just moving pieces from yeah one tray yeah. to another or from the table to the tray and then back to the tray and it was just a disaster i heard horror stories about that um that puzzle well not horror yeah. stories but just definitely stories about right because it was like all black at the top yes too, right? it was yeah. all night sky at the top and then all snowy rocks at the bottom wow. and and it was like a sorting nightmare but yeah i just remember i think we lost a lot of time yeah. dealing with trays yeah. if you haven't practiced yeah, yeah. and for us personally I, th I just mentioned this to a couple of people. I think one of our strongest puzzling skills mm -hmm. is color recognition. Mm. So we do best when we have the whole puzzle Spread all flipped out. up right in front of us and we can see every single piece of every mm -hmm. single color. So with trays, mm -hmm. it was hard for us because stuff was blocked and we're, right. we're yeah. like, I don't feel like I'm doing the yeah, yeah. whole thing here yeah. and I'm confused <laughs> and, <laughs> and I miss my colors. <laughs> right, right. No, but I mean, yeah, super impressive. I mean, do you have any idea what's coming next i mean we had a little speculation here from sarah and lauren you know i personally think i will place behind all the four for the pairs yeah. who just came up yeah normally i wouldn't consider myself an individual speed puzzler mm -hmm. we got mm -hmm. into this as a pair because it's more fun to puzzle with people right mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and so we're just i don't know I know I the 2022 top, Nationals, right? you guys didn't do the individual, no, no. right? You were just like, no, we're right. not really interested in that. Yeah, we just did Paris that year. Mm -hmm. Right. And mm -hmm. No, but I am. I have to confess, I am excited that we were able to finish at the same ranking in mm -hmm. the prelims. Yes, because, because now, we, now we get to sit at the table. Yes. yes. Together right. for right. finals. Right. right. And that will be fun. Table. I didn't even think of yeah. that, yeah. that you guys are going to be, be at the same table. Right there. Wow. That side is by side. fantastic. Right. So are you going to sit yet. opposite each other, like one on one side, one, or are oh, you going to no. sit next we'll sit to each side other? By side. Really? Well, we could go across. No. I'm not a fan. I mean, against this idea, yeah, I'm kind right, of a fan. Right. Smack talk the entire way. Through. It's up to you yeah. how you you know want to orient, yeah, because you can move around yeah. if you need to. So yeah. But so, like pairs, I think individuals is totally up in the air. There's yeah. a whole list of people yeah. who could, could take it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The first thing I said to Lauren and Sarah when they sat down is, "Are you excited that you beat the Reuters?" <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yes. <laughs> yes. We're like that was our goal, not even winning, but just beating you two. Really yeah, was our yeah, number yeah, one yeah. goal. I think one of the highlights of this weekend for me is going to be puzzling at the same table with them in Paris. Yeah. Because oh, really? the energy yeah. and just, the, we have such a good vibe together and mm -hmm. it's so much fun to be around them. Yeah. Just yeah. on the same level and... And we, we saw know, you yeah. at the end where, you know, you're like, hey, yeah, you know, yeah. like, mm -hmm. we encourage each other around afterwards. Mm -hmm. and, and we know we're at the same skill level. So it mm -hmm. is a toss up. Yeah, we know. Our, yeah. Our, our right. It to, depends yeah. on the puzzle, really. 100%. Then, yeah. 100%. Yeah. yeah. And any, in, we talked, 
didn't get really an answer, but any predictions on maybe what's going to come up in the next round or, you well, know, any speculation? We, we know the artists. That's yes. okay. Yes. Yes. Everybody's, yes. Well, everybody's well aware. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Process yeah. of elimination. And mm-hmm. yeah, we love his work. And so we're, we're just excited to see it um, as a, Please tell me it's still a 500. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah okay. of course. I was like at some point panicking because most of the work we've done from him have been a thousand. So yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm excited yeah. to have a 500 yeah. from him as well. Yeah. 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 No, we wouldn't happy. spring that on you at the last minute. Yeah, no. Oh, by the this way, was everybody. known in advance that it's it was going to be a thousand. Yeah. It was yeah. in the planning stages to be a thousand, but we certainly yeah. knew yeah. a right. long, you know, a right. while ago that it right. would be a thousand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, so, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to whatever his puzzle is yes. in the finals. Yes, very yeah. much. Well, right. that is and the, I haven't seen it. She has. But from I an no organizer idea. perspective, that is one of the most fun parts of this is seeing everybody get to see it and just be excited about it. And Yeah. So. Yeah. Faith mm-hmm. was watching us as we opened Elspeth's um, oh, was mandala she? yesterday. Yeah. She's she waiting for us. our reaction. <laughs> <laughs> it was a beautiful puzzle. The team's puzzles were so, so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't talk yeah. to you after the teams yesterday. We kind of ran out of time. You yeah. finished four. Four. Yes. 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 yes, sisters we, squared, yeah. of course, along yeah, you guys with uh, did Betsy great. Parker and Robin mm-hmm. DeCare. Yeah. Yeah. So two love, pairs of sisters. Yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah. love yeah. puzzling with them so much. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Val, for the oh, introduction. Oh, good. Yes, yeah. I introduced you all. I remember when I heard that you were looking, and I was like, wait it, wait. <laughs> I have the perfect solution for you. And it really was. Yes. It was yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, you, you remind me. You know, yeah. when I talk to you, I'm reminded of them and vice versa. I feel like you you have such a similar vibe yeah. and personality and, and their sisters. And, yeah, yeah, it just has worked out so great. And you guys have been really successful as a team together. So. We have, yeah. yeah. Although we just keep missing third by, like, second. <laughs> uh, yeah. I know. With I know, them. But I know. we were, were very happy with where we landed yes. yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great. great. Yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's been tough competition this yeah. weekend. It's been exciting. New so, faces coming up. Right? Oh, yeah. Wicked Quick got in there. They're Wicked Quick. <laughs> right? And they are. Yes, they are Wicked Quick. And they, you know, right. And they're so evenly matched. Yeah. I mean, it's, like, right after each other in every division, you know, one pair, another pair, you know. Yeah. And then as a foursome, I mean, yeah, definitely ones to watch and wow i'm just looking around and realizing this room is cleared Cleared out out. we have just like hardly anybody left i mean there's still some going and of course even if if people are just now finishing at the two hour and eight minute mark that's still very impressive and we've got 68 pairs that have finished and have results in we have just under uh a little over 21 minutes left in this yeah. competition. So we hope they get everyone. it done. Yes. I know. That's the thing, right? Is you're just cheering like, yeah, get in there. Get it done. You Father, can do it. Father, young son combo. Yeah, that Dylan was just Michael. on this right yeah, there. They, they are from Colorado. Back. Go family team. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They're Colorado champs. Mike and Dylan from the Mile High area. Dad was wearing yep. a Mile High City t-shirt Mile yesterday. Mile High probably. Middlers, I think he called them oh, the, on their shirt. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and Dylan's one of our youngest competitors. He's 13, and I mean, obviously, a force in the future yeah. to be looking for. And I was saying yesterday, you know, what a great father-son bonding experience, yeah. flying to San Diego and puzzling, spending yeah. a couple of hours together, putting together a puzzle oh, like this. Oh, no, they oh, no, oh, a piece. Floor check. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Oh. oh, well, they'll they might just do the 10-second penalty, maybe. Oh, wait, he came. Running back, did he find it? No, oh. they're just frantically looking oh, no. in the bag. This is the worst. worst. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so bad. Well, they'll just well, give him a ten t- second penalty if they don't regardless. find it. So no the problem. The judge is telling him, okay. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Oh, oh, oh did he find it? He found it. Oh, he did find it at least. So that's a little satisfaction. Yeah, yeah. Go home with a full puzzle. Right, exactly. Nine ninety nine. Yeah. Now you know what it's like for us as we're sitting there like, oh, <laughs> well, yeah, we're, <laughs> our hearts go out to them. I'm like, oh, we want to. <laughs> because when uh, Karen and Tiffany were getting close right, to finishing, there was a piece on the floor. There was a yellow oh. piece, a uh, yellow, the, the Schindler shim. Sh- Shandling, Shandling shim, shim is what they're calling it. With a it. piece right under Tiffany's chair. And one of the judges kind of pointed it out because so we were expecting the frantic search for them, but they had theirs, so we assumed it was the oh, folks no. next to them. Yes. But we actually never saw how that was resolved. No, we, we didn't actually we see Doug and Suzanne. But finish. we were right here just staring at that piece, but no, you know, no one dared say anything. Right. But, uh, we we're like, oh no, there's going to be, you know. And yeah, because it was close. It was getting close, and there were some finishers. But yeah, oh, it's, wow. it's it's exciting. But oh, there's another finisher. All oh, this right. is just great. Good. 
Well, and I'm so back. glad you guys came over and joined us for Thank a little you. bit. Go and celebrate. Thank you. Have a nice lunch. This year. And wonderful nationals. Thanks. Shout out to the JPA for oh, putting on another amazing you. event. Thank you so much. Our any pleasure, shout my outs? pleasure. Thank you. Any shout outs for anybody else? Anybody want to say hello to? Back in the ball. <laughs> They're all watching. They're, they're, so There's we like do have some watches. Thanks over, for support everyone as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be a well, big party. So to, when do you go home? Thank you. Yeah. We're Tomorrow. heading home this evening. Oh, you are this yeah, evening. Yeah, we might okay. actually have to dash out of. Oh, oh wow. Really? Okay. <gasps> so we might not see you at closing ceremony. Oh, no, 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 we'll, we'll be, be for the start. We will. Okay. We'll be for okay. the start. But okay, good. It's going to be tight for us. All right. Okay. Yeah, catch that flight We'll try to get through it on time. Okay. Well, maybe we'll see you back here at the dais after the individuals. So great luck to you. Okay. You bet. Always a pleasure. Thank you. You bet. All right. Or I should say, you betcha. All right. Oh, I switched. Okay. I switched over here. I think we've taken care of all the official business. And just a quick little recap here. Top finishing team. We didn't have a name for them, but Kelly Walter and Andrea Peng. Andrea ranks second in the U.S. Uh, in the speed rankings, Kelly third, so definitely the top contenders finished in just an hour, one minute, 31 seconds. Uh, Sarah Schuler, Lauren Kautz, Lauren number one in the U.S. rankings. They finished second, uh, one hour, six minutes, 47 seconds. Jeannie and Kathy Reuter, who we just finished talking to, of course, an hour, six, and 57 Second, so just 10 behind Sarah and Lauren. And then coming in fourth was Andrea Kyle and Don Rasmussen from the Twin, City, Twin Cities. Uh, fifth place went to Karen Puzzles and Tiffany Medeiros. Hour 15, one minute. Uh, coming in sixth, Becca Taylor, Kelly Burr. Uh, seventh place was Emma Pan and Mari Black, the Wicked Quick. And uh, coming in eighth that we had Jessa Douglas, Hannah Scott. So great. You bet. Yes, okay. I'll make room here for the most of the JPA board to come on in. Yeah, we're gonna switch it up here a little bit. We're gonna add we're gonna add Faith to the live stream. You guys haven't had a chance to meet Faith yet from the USA JPA board. You've met Allie Krasny. But yeah, I thought it would be fun to have you guys join me for a little bit and talk We're about how it's out. going today. I know. Let's just hang out. We'll just gossip. We did this and yesterday just and we were just like hanging. It I know. So we talked a long time. Yeah. I was like, I only meant to give Jeff like a bathroom break. And then it was like 20 minutes later. We're like, la, 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 just talking away. <laughs> my husband, shocking. My, <laughs> husband, my husband, Mike, um, he was like, do you, did you guys have some stuff like scripted out to talk about? I was like, mm -mm, we're just, just, just chatting. Just chatting. <laughs> just chatting. So I got to know, like, what have you thought when you're walking around? I mean, I'm over here. I'm just watching the camera. What have you been hearing? All, uh, yeah. all positive result, uh, you know, feedback. feedback. The I went outside because mm -hmm. Demelza is signing the puzzles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the line is all the way so down the hallway. Really? And they're like doing crowd control out there. So oh, wow. yeah. So every yeah. and then, you know, everyone's super excited to be able to buy <laughs> The, mm -hmm. the puzzle, so it's mm -hmm. that's they sold out. Funny. They sold out the puzzle. They already. sold out already. Already. Oh my that, god, that's not surprising. Yeah. Also, busy birdies um, from yesterday sold out. So oh really? Yeah. yeah. Well, I think they've been selling out at All almost everything like yeah. immediately. Yeah. So they did not bring enough puzzles apparently. If they're like just selling out right away. And but, do do people know they can buy them um, starting on Monday? Yes, okay. starting on Monday. I, I Monday. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Someone and asked that on in social the chatter, and I was like, I don't yeah. know. I'm not sure. It was like they'll be on sale eventually. <laughs> I think the other thing that I was surprised about, we got a lot of uh, uh, comments about doing a thousand piece puzzle. I, I'm sure you've talked about yes, this, yes. but I didn't. No one bad. said anything, and it, yeah. as far as I, I know, like no pieces got knocked over. So I thought I that was interesting. Some interesting feedback. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, I was talking to Kim Kenny, uh, mm -hmm. and she was like, we had a small sorting tray and a big sorting tray. Mm -hmm. And she said the big sorting tray, they put, like, most of the pieces, and then the small sorting tray had, like, the stuff they were working on so it could be on top of the big one. Mm -hmm. And then it was kind of covering, like, one half of the puzzle so they could just, like, work on the other half, and they had, like, more space that way, and they mm -hmm. kind of liked that. So. That's a cool strategy. Yeah. yeah. Was like, she's like, we just came up with it on the fly. Mm -hmm. I was like, what? He's so smart. So we couldn't see... Andrea and Kelly, what did mm -hmm. they have sorting trays? Andrea um, and Kelly, 
or you no. mean Andrea and Dawn? Or you no, or no, Andrea no, Pink? Andrea, oh, sorry, Andrea, Andrea Pink. The winners. I no. don't know. They didn't don't have sorting so. trays. Yeah, no. I think that's kind of an interest, interesting, too. Like, who yes. had sorting trays and who didn't? And right. was that, like, a, mm-hmm. you know, a hindrance? They didn't have sorting trays, and I'm pretty sure... Andrea still didn't have shoes. That's her. Maybe that's the special strategy. <laughs> yeah. She's most comfortable sans yeah, right? shoes. <laughs> she said it was her lucky button that she got from Arlene Blank. And I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, Arlene. One of the things that came out when we interviewed Develsa is how the thousand piece and the Paris final is her fault. And I was like, yes, it 100% is because <laughs> we were planning on a 500. Yeah. And then she put together this glorious artwork yeah and it was like well that should be a thousand that that can't go right. on a 500 right. and i was like yeah you're the reason they yeah. all have a tiny half a yeah. table and they're doing a thousand piece on it <laughs> but Everyone's not like, a single one is complained like yeah. everybody who's come yeah. over here is oh, just like oh my god it was so yeah fun. there oh, was good. one yeah. person um like kelly spoon was like the space like wasn't great but she's like but everyone's dealing with the same space yeah, right and yep. so yeah, i so think that fair. was yeah that was nice and we're like mm-hmm. you know it was really either do we have more people advance mm-hmm. or do we give them more space and mm-hmm. we asked for feedback and it was like we want we want to advance and that's fair yeah like yeah. i would want that too right, right? and yeah. also i told demelsa if you had only 50 pairs doing this and 50 other pairs were standing around the outside having to watch they'd all be like are you kidding me right now i want to do that puzzle yeah <laughs> yeah that is very true yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 and it's so fun to have everyone like right it. it's gorgeous i it's mean so that's the feedback we've heard thus far although yeah. everybody is just like so sky or is there going to be some sky at some point and i'm just like well you know who knows but everybody Michael's already left. is like oh, yeah. well it's going to be a nathaniel puzzle yeah, uh-huh. obviously <laughs> and i'm like no he's just here to sign he has no you know mm. the horse in the game mm, it's you like, haven't no, guessed anyway. it <laughs> My i think also yeah. i think also at this point so there was speculation and we're mm-hmm. safe to say mm-hmm. there was speculation early on once we released the artist signing schedule mm-hmm. people are like well okay if it's at this time they're signing, then probably like yeah, this yeah. puzzle is going to be this artist. Mm-hmm. They were definitely right. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> we shouldn't have released that schedule. Like what were we thinking? No, but... I think it was fun to like watch That's everyone true. speculate. They still don't know the art, right? They know the artist, exactly. but they don't know the art. Exactly. I do think it also really probably, you know, increased sales of those artists uh, because I mean, everybody was like, I got to practice. Especially Elspeth with the mandala mm-hmm. stones. Everyone was like, Oh my God, I got to practice this because yes, yes. it's and tough. Then, and then you practice and you're like, oh no, it's going to be bad. <laughs> there, I like pulled on our social media at one point. I was like, I was trying to figure out like if just like everyone had looked at the artist signing to be like, oh yeah, this is when this puzzle is going to be. And so I was like, who like Elspeth had posted something. And I said, what, what division do you think her puzzle is going to be? And it was across the board actually. Mm-hmm. Like they didn't know. So that was yep. kind of, I thought like. I had seen a couple things. I'm like, oh, they all know when she's going to be. And then, no, that wasn't true. So it's interesting. <laughs> Did you guys talk about mm. the finish? Was it sixth and seventh place uh, yeah. finish? Yeah, I mean, of course. And it was hilarious because Lauren and Sarah came and sat down. And the first thing I said was, well, you beat the Reuters. And they were like, yeah, that's all we cared about. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, we don't care about getting first. We just wanted to beat the yeah, Reuters. Yeah. Um, and, you know, of course, Jean and Kathy were lovely about it. We're oh, like, we're so, we're so excited for them. Well, and they you were know, so like, close. Mm-hmm. But, oh, no, I was talking about sixth and seventh oh, place. Oh, right, sixth and seventh. Yes, tell us because you were yeah. right there. Yeah, she was Because yeah. I know people in the chat were like, wait, what? What just happened? It was crazy. Why not? Yes. So okay, so I can't remember who ended up in which place. Becca, it was, it was Becca, Becca and, Kelly. and Kelly, and then who's the other team? It was um, Wicked Mari, Quick. It was Mari, Mari and, and Emma. Emma Pan. Yeah. Oh yeah. So they were puzzling, and at some point, William had pointed out their piece, like they did the the Shandling shim, mm-hmm. and they put that, and he was like, there are two pieces on the floor, and they oh. were like stepping on them. And he's oh like, no, oh. yeah. And so, I I knew that, and then I'm looking at Becca and Kelly, and like they're neck and neck, and I think Mar Mari and em- Emily Emma. Emma Mari and Emma Emma maybe had the edge, but then I knew there were those two pieces right. down there, so right. it was. And then there was like a scramble. Oh yeah! And then both teams that were missing one piece by the end of it, mm-hmm. and then there were three seconds apart, and it was crazy. <laughs> I well, know that had to be like if I was one of the volunteers over there, I'd have been like hyperventilating. Well, Allie was counting down Becca's 
pair and then William was counting down Mari's pair and so it was really mm -hmm. good to have that because I was mm -hmm. like oh thank goodness that they're both counting down because then mm -hmm. it made it very clear like yes. who was the right the and finisher. the volunteers were so good though they were like mm -hmm. so on yeah. it and it yeah. was like it was hectic. We did a good job, but there's mm -hmm. so many people in here right now, like filming and taking yes, photos and stuff. Yes. And like, we had to do a lot of like, I was going through and just checking with the volunteers. Are you good? Do you, can you, can you see, do you? Yeah. And yeah. I was like, kind of the, I was the heavy coming. <laughs> you got to get, yeah. They, they yell tough. off. They yell at us when we're in front of the uh, the timer oh, yeah, because that was our bad. You know, yeah, but it's very it looks crowded in the space and it is crowded in the space. So, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. It, what's Wait. crazy is on the live stream the camera angle was such that we saw Emma and Mari finish, and we were like they got it they got six and then we saw them looking for a piece and then literally oh, as they're wow. looking for the piece we see becca and kelly like slightly blurry in the background going Woo! and like being done oh my God. and so we were just like okay what just what happened? happened who's six who's seven yeah. and we didn't know until we refreshed and the results were entered and then that's when we were like yeah. okay this is how it, it ended up wild. everybody but you, yeah, people you know in the chat nice. were like, what just happened? You know what's <laughs> nice about that, though? I feel like when it finishes that close, at least for me, if, if, if I'm like the lower place when something like that happens, mm -hmm. I'm like, well, oh, I'm yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm like, we're basically, we're basically the same, right? Yeah, because yeah. like three seconds is like, whatever. Like right. if you wiped your nose for a second. <laughs> I, know. I know. It's like, yeah, just any little thing could come into play. You might have dropped pieces earlier and yeah. then had to go get and pick them up and that takes a couple seconds so there it goes you know it's it's amazing how many close finishes we have mm -hmm. and that makes me think can i talk about the puzzle chess uh championship yes, a little bit about the puzzle chess so we yes. had a puzzle chess tournament during this event on friday and saturday oh, yeah so we had 64 different competitors and we had some fantastic volunteers tiffany madeiros and, and carrie schumacher and they were like we'll plan it we've got it we'll do the whole thing so we um you know, we were worried because it's during competition times. So we, you know, we let people sign up like and then Tiffany and Carrie figured they built a bracket around everyone's competition time. So throughout Friday and Saturday, we had um, a puzzle chess tournament. And last night was the, the final. Um, all the, the fun, I thought you were going to say the fun. And I was the fun. Say, well, yeah. OK, yeah. so in the quarterfinals, we had a tie. We did 100 piece puzzles. And if you're not oh, familiar with puzzle chess, look it up online. Um, yeah. And um, we <clears throat> so, yeah, we had a tie. So we had we had a tie. Mm -hmm. Tiffany and Carrie were on top of it. We oh, had a tiebreaker man. puzzle. Oh, yes. we did have a tie. Yeah, that that so sorry, I got really excited. Mm -hmm. Oh, we did. Yeah, yeah. They were and so then, good for having the tiebreaker. And then in the next round, oh my gosh. Hannah won. She beat Dawn. Yeah. By one second. Wow. We didn't have a second tiebreaker. Now, now, now it continues, the mm -hmm. trauma. <laughs> so we did the semifinal and final yesterday evening. Um, and instead of 100-piece puzzles, there were 300-piece puzzles. The first one was a solar system puzzle. Not easy. Mm -hmm. um, and that was the semifinal. And again, one second apart. <gasps> oh, my gosh. One second? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, Hannah B. Emily... Sh Emily Shandron by one second. Mm -hmm. So then we had Hannah and Alice Rowe, and that's Hannah Scott and Alice Rowe in the final. Super exciting. Mm -hmm. um, and they had a 300 piece puzzle. It was elephants. <laughs> <laughs> With a similar colored background. Oh, we we did a 20-minute timer, and they did finish before the timer, and Alice uh, edged out uh, Hannah, but it was super entertaining. And, mm -hmm. I, like, I just didn't think we would have a tie ever. Yes. And I was like, thank goodness. I know. They, that well, you right, because I was, like, working with the, uh, the sponsor, Keep Eurographics. Puzzling, Keep on puzzling. We have five minutes remaining. Five minutes. <laughs> five minutes to go, and we have um, 88 finishers oh, that's now. that's awesome. Yeah. I know. So we're, and I... There's a lot of folks out there close. I hope they get in yeah. under the under the two hours. I do want to yeah. give a shout out to Lisa Shuler yeah. and Leslie <gasps> Mallory snuck in yes. there. They got 87th and we they finished them. in under the two and a half. I'm sure She'll they're be happy. happy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, that's I. I'm oh yeah. Bummed. So I they the were. Final last so night. they were asking about like they were planning it and asking me about like supplying it from Eurographics because we were working with them as the sponsor for it, and 
they were asking me about the tiebreaker and I was, and they were like, I don't know, like, it's probably not a big deal, but if we can get one, and I was like, mm-hmm. all right, you know, just kind of casual and man, I'm like, I thought we got it. Yeah. <laughs> I guess yeah. there's probably an extra puzzle around. We could have. I was going to say, we probably could have better found to just have a plan. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it might have exactly. been, you guys, uh, a note that I had for myself this mm-hmm. morning, at, like I had all these notes and I had like big asterisks and it just said puzzle what table and I was like cool that's a really helpful <laughs> <laughs> not like we have puzzles around or anything did you ever figure out what it meant I actually knew what it meant <laughs> but I was just I saw it and I was just like helpful <laughs> yeah we just saw there the 88th table Emily Frost and Laura Manns finished in just under like you know just was it 88th in there? or 89th uh, no, sorry. Eight, oh, oh, they oh, were table eighty eight. Yep, and they just start. We're gonna get How their time to been if they were eighty eight, right? Mm-hmm. At table eighty eight, cool. Mm-hmm. Oh. I do have to tell you guys. Everybody who's been coming up here is like, "Thank you, you guys. This is oh. amazing." And I'm like crying constantly. So this is closing <laughs> ceremonies today. If you want to watch, oh my god, a bunch of a. You know, adult women like cry weep about on, puzzling. On, yeah, cry about puzzling. Like tune in at three thirty. I'm, <laughs> I'm very afraid. <laughs> I think we're all so exhausted. We're so it's so tired. emotional. But I had Dell on here at, for a while. Oh, so I want to hear that. Yourself. Like, oh, she's amazing. Oh, you're on the live stream. You can't cry on the live. I know. Stream. There's I no was, crying. I know. Puzzling? No. <laughs> There shouldn't be. Oh, I should have some decorum, but I couldn't hold it together. She was so sweet. I think one thing that I'd like to share, I said Mm. this last Mm. night at Puzzle Chess, and one thing we love Mm. about the community is this people, obviously, and the camaraderie Mm -hmm. that we all have. But last night during Puzzle Chess... um, you know, at one point I hear Hannah tell Alice, she's like, you're doing great. Like, just, <laughs> during, during the, the competition against yes, each right. other. And she's like, you're doing great. You're doing great. I, I, my favorite <laughs> moment, my oh, favorite moment oh, yeah. was when they had like 10 pieces left and they all looked the same. And Hannah just goes, they all look the same. They all look the same. <laughs> and just everyone erupted in laughter. We're at like having a drink, hanging yes, out after yes. a long day, and just like oh, she's hilarious. That was that was, great. that was that amazing. Was great. Oh my gosh. Okay, well I'm gonna let you guys go back because yeah, we're almost we gotta to do the our end. I'm gonna get Jeff duties. over here to do his okay. outro. He's like the consummate He's, professional, always you keeping know, me on track pro. with you know Val. We got to do the official things, so we'll have him go. I'm okay. so glad you got to Yay! join me. Yay! This was so much fun. We're so oh, excited. Get a hug too. Yes, yes. Well, you'll get a hug from me. We'll share okay. it. Yeah. Okay. Yes, and one. you guys yeah. are awesome. Uh-huh. So, okay. Love Likewise, you. nice Love to you see so you, by the way. Yes, nice <laughs> to see you. <laughs> it's been a while. I know. <laughs> All right. We'll get Jeff on over. Okay, we're switching to the middle right. seats again. And if you want to adjust the shot for the outro. Just over, we have a minute, 15 seconds left Mm -hmm. in this competition. I would just want to remind the folks that have done this two and a half hour puzzling to do some of those neck and back stretches that we talked about (laughs) that we did at the stretch and strengthen this. I was going to say, you got to give a shout out to your business there, Jeff. Mm Silverstrong.fitness. And we videotaped this morning's uh, you know oh, stretch you and strength and so I'm going to get it posted so people can go through it on their own yep, yep. there's some on the US uh, JPA either social media we did one just to remind folks you know a little before a little after yep, good you idea. know to yep. work on that back this was a two and a half hour you know session yes so and we're right down to the wire 30 here 30 seconds we're gonna left get Allie's a, getting yep, ready to just getting ready to call it in a few moments do the countdown to zero mm-hmm. this this puzzle is already sold out. Sweet Street is sold. Every yes. puzzle we've used in the competition is sold out already. I know. It's a popular one. All right, we've got 12 seconds left here. We're going to count down at five. We've got a team that's so close. And they finished. Yes. Oh, oh they just five, did it. Four, three, two, one. Hands up. Puzzlers, great job. Waiting to on puzzling you made it through the full two and a half hours you guys are all winners for persevering through that great job everyone we'll take a little pause and then we will do a few yeah they made it yeah uh, i was watching thank you Mm -hmm. Yes, so uh, there we Sarah go. Shuler's mom yes. and Leslie Mallory. Yep, so they Lisa made it. Lisa Shuler, Leslie 
Mallory of the Mallory yep, Move yep. or Maneuver. Yeah, we talked about that yep, a little bit yep. ago. So yeah, they and finished yep. here at 88, I, so they got in right. a couple of minutes, uh, like seven minutes before the end here. There's I, only a couple of groups that didn't mm-hmm. finish. I think uh, we're going to have um, a really exciting afternoon. I hope you're back with us to watch this afternoon's contest, the individual final coming up. We've had so much fun with you this morning in the pairs final, and we just can't wait to see you later. And, uh, yeah, please join us for the afternoon. We had 93 pairs, I think. One pair snuck in just under the, I think they had three seconds to go and they got the last piece in. So we're going to get them in the results. And thank you so much again for joining us. It's been very exciting this morning. And so we'll more see, to come. We'll see folks back here in about an hour and 20 minutes or something like mm-hmm. that for the individual final. So thank you for watching. Thank you.